We are here to bring you everything and anything surrounding Porsche. I'm Mike. I'm Aaron. And this is Peak Car Talk. Hey, before the show starts, wanted to remind you guys, Aaron and I have put together a club drive that is coming out. It will be in April. Uh, dates are going to be announced to club members, so you need to be a club yep. member to join, correct? Um, with that, how do they do that? Go to pcartalk.com, and then you'll look under the club, and you'll see that there's a drop-down menu, and then it says the annual club drive. Awesome. In order to co on the club job, you need to become a member. How do you become a member? Go to pcartalk.com. Um, we have memberships starting as little as $60 a year. Um, however, we do recommend you get the highest level, uh, the RS membership, which is like 160 bucks a yep. year. Um, with those, you can read on the website. We won't bore you with that, but we have told, been told that we need to go ahead and describe that to everybody that that's annual, not mm -hmm. per month. Uh, in addition to that, there's a, also a giveaway every month. Uh, with your membership uh, that's sponsored and we've given away some amazing some things right stuff, like yeah. a, a model that was like 600 bucks that was supplied yep. by suncoast and deck lids that are supplied by people that are making customized things and then we're giving away valve covers yep. that are made for Custom, keychain. it's yeah. i'm telling you if you win one of these things it, and and you even have a base one and it's random it's so happened. people you've basically paid for your membership for two years or three years oh, or yeah. four years or five years or however you do the math um, so there's a lot to be given away. I know there's probably people saying out there like, Oh my God, whatever, what do I get with it? Well, you get a crap ton. So yeah. needless to say, and also there's a drive that you're going to be able to go on as well. That's the big um, part. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big driving event. Um, but you need to pay for it to go on drive. Obviously your membership doesn't pay for that, but it gets you the code to get onto the website, to sign up. And once you become a club member, the password goes out to you mm -hmm. and then you can sign up for the drive. So make sure that you go ahead and sign up because it's only going to be open for roughly two months. And then we're closing the door on it because we need to make sure that we have everything accommodated for the people that have signed up. Correct. Correct. So without further ado, enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Welcome to another episode of Peak Hard Talk. We're on location here in South Beach, Miami yeah. at DRT, guys. Oh, man. Um, so it's going to be a little different. It's going to be kind of like the Macy's Day Parade. Oh, Cars yeah. are going to come in. We're going to talk a little trash about them, maybe a little bit of good stuff about them. And we're going to recap the weekend, um, everything like that. So cars will be rolling in for a little bit on and off. Yeah. Um, there's also a video if you're the ones listening at home and you want to actually yeah. see the YouTube video. So yeah. there'll be cars coming and That'll going. That'll probably be helpful. I can, I can believe that. Yeah. So obviously great weekend right so for oh. us started on tuesday <laughs> it feels like it started like three weeks ago unbelievable right yeah. i'm like dead but uh in a positive way um so we went to zweck uh which is alan Sunil's new launch off jump that, off thing a lot of things it's, it's going to be a huge facility where it houses cars they sell cars they maintain cars um, there's also going to be a club there. There's going to be some private garages there. A lot of stuff coming oh, yeah. in, right? So um, a, what a great thing to have for the community that's like going to be coming it's out. It's going to be a landmark So for sure. it's going to be pretty badass, all of that stuff. So it's it's what of an awesome thing that's going to happen. Um, great yeah. for Miami, like yeah, great I mean, for we, them. We already, saw it. we already saw a little bit of how good it's going to be. Great for the there. Porsche community. Oh, yeah. Um, cool. So we went there that night yeah. and basically – they had like a little display. It was a, a oh, pseudo media pre, night. Pre, pre, pre launch party. Yeah, it was the media night essentially, right? Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, what was that thing you were at? So it was a media night. Um, <laughs> Nobody knows. Uh, well, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a media night. We went to it and um, it was really good. You know, we had some cocktails, got to meet up with some people. Yeah. Got to talk to some people, kind of got a lay of the land essentially is like what's coming for from our side is what we want to film and what we oh, want to yeah. kind of get into. Um, what are stuff. all the stuff was happening? So that was a good evening, a good jump off. So we drove yeah. down that day, um, checked into our Airbnb. Yep, so the first one. Yeah, <laughs> multiple. That's a. We'll get into that during this podcast. That's a <laughs> monster podcast of all the stuff that kind of went on. It was kind of crazy, but you know we did that on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday was what? Uh, Walt Grace. Yeah, Walt Grace with, uh, uh, with Bart. Bart. Park Park Kukins. Kukins. Kirkins. Kirkins. Yeah, I always it. screw up and it's say It's Belgian, it, not French, we know. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a podcast coming with him um, that will be out. Yeah. So that's a great conversation, and we're looking forward to that. And thankfully, you know. Hey, Chad. Chad. We got a opportunity. Aaron even did. Um, or yeah. I guess we're going to be in his Volume 6 book, which yeah. is great. Mike's uh, like, great, you ruined it. 
Yeah, essentially, uh, Aaron ruined it with his 997 Carrera. I, um, I mean, all I, these like badass historic cars and all these great cars yeah, that are in it. And it's st- like stock. Well, I mean, it's, it's yeah. stock to me. And I mean, then it's, it's like really it's like the herpy on the lip of, of, of the book, <laughs> <laughs> essentially. The best description yeah. I've ever heard. I'm Thanks. just totally <laughs> brazzing him, get him a total hard time just yeah. because I can. But uh, so thankful to Bart for coming on the show, oh, yeah. and then obviously, you know him giving us that opportunity to be in his book what a what a blessing and everything and everybody he got to shoot here he shot a lot of amazing cars yeah, he did. Um, we're going to see a lot of amazing cars today as well um, look at this guy cool mo d right oh, here yeah. like that's good yeah good. hanging out it's got the, the shades up. on yeah, yeah, look at yeah it. red interior miami ball like white, 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 white jacket just needs a gold rope chain and a <laughs> it's, cigar it's, it's probably just hidden right now yeah doing damage <laughs> um, oh there he is yeah Awesome. That guy's yeah. standing right in the shot. <laughs> yeah. Um, getting get the shot. Yeah, you guys are going to get the unfiltered everything today. Yeah. The madness of <laughs> stupidness of we get to see. Um, yeah. But anyways, so that was Wednesday. We hung out there with Bart. Um, and then Thursday was the, the track day um, yeah. and Friday. But yep. there was the, the dry track day was, was on Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So we went there. That was outstanding. Uh, got some really, really good laps in. I want to thank Chris for kind of leading me on my second session. And uh, before we even get to all that, so first session, uh, I had kind of lower tires on the rear. That was kind of my fault. <laughs> yeah. But I knew I, I knew I was going to need new tires. I just didn't know how quickly because yeah, the way my, the, my, camber, and, yeah, my yeah. camber and toe set up, it's a little aggressive. So the inners were wearing. So after my first session, I was showing cord. So big shout out to Eddie oh, from yeah. RMC for being a total legend. Crushing and again. basically saving my ass because... I needed another set of tires because it was 10 a.m. and I had another session to run and I really <laughs> wanted to run. Yeah. So I called him up. He's in Miami now. So if you don't know, Homestead is like 30 minutes away. Yeah. He calls around. He gets about an hour's worth of time. Then he calls me back and he finds a place literally eight like miles away that, that has uh, Michelin Super Sports the for the rear, the exact yeah. same tire that I'm running um, to go pick up. And they're, they're waiting for me to go, basically. So I literally drive into this place go into the middle bay they throw the car in jack the car up yeah. put the tires on i was Clean in and out the of there wheels. yeah it in and out yeah, in good. and out of there in an hour and that couldn't have been possible without eddie's help from rmc so total total yeah. legend um you know how close we are with rmc they've been on the podcast if, if you haven't seen it before go check them out yeah. um, go listen to that podcast go That's to their good. website they also sell some awesome awesome stuff they got some so, good stock so sure. thank you many many thank yous legend total legend thank you so much for that and what a, what a great guy. So I just want to touch on that. So, you know, circling back to the actual track portion. So then we haul ass back to the track. 20 minutes to spare. We, well, yeah, yeah. we got there. So then we get back in, and then I, I was able to get my car on, on track again on my last session. But yeah. since our first session was so, I guess, for lack of a better term, like, I'm going to throw the guy under the bus. I'm going to give a damn. <laughs> He's at 996 GT3, which can totally rip. And... Yeah, this I guy, I don't think he knows about how yeah, what it should do. I, I mean, this guy was asleep at the wheel. Like, we, I, I think he put cruise control at 45 miles an hour. I think and that like giant we, SUV would outrun. Yeah, him. we literally were just cruising around the damn track, yeah. and like everybody was in that session. So I'm not the only one. So anybody who's listening, I'm not just the total asshole on this one. Everybody who was on that <laughs> session wanted to beat this guy silly because it was a lead and follow. Yeah, that's crazy. So then we came back, and essentially like voted him off the island and was like hey you're out of here <laughs> yeah we did you know some, you're we did gone some, uh, yeah you're not leading <laughs> so we went to the the you know it's fortunate or unfortunate that we all know alan Sunil so well and went to them and we're like look this isn't happening again we're not going back out with that guy so fortunately for us chris and his new 991 gt3 which has tons of track hours took nice. us out on our session and we totally ripped like yeah. ripped 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 and great great session i'm super proud of the 964 so basically yeah he did get a lot of props for that hanging that on. car so ran with three other pdk cars uh two of them were gt threes uh 991s and the other one's a gt3 rs 991 both all three of them pdk cars my car hung with them the entire session never got far behind yeah. always always on them Mike like on it. their bumper and guess what three pedal car <laughs> yeah exactly so yeah even better I was all over it. I'm tooting my own horn. Yes, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm, I can drive, ju- just in case you didn't know. I'm, pr- I'm pretty awesome. Yeah, so I'm tooting my own horn. But it was a great session, needless to say. Yeah. And then uh, we took off Thursday night. 
and uh, headed back and checked into the big house yep. and all and everybody else that came in and hung <laughs> out. Um, yeah, we got there first, and that's that's a uh, that's a rule of life. Who gets there first who gets bed choice. And <laughs> standard rules, right? Oh yeah, standard rules. So everybody gets to pick the you know that some of the Tampa guys came up later. Obviously, we were here a lot earlier, so we all spread out, took all the took all the stuff that we wanted. Yeah, we got Perbanic in his uh, machine. Awesome, awesome patina 356. Yeah. If you, we've had Mark on the show. If you haven't seen him before, he's got a beautiful 356. It's weathered. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's well weathered. Yeah, it's it's well traveled, right? Oh yeah, I mean, to say. It, I mean, I'd be I'd want to travel as much as that car's traveled. Mm-hmm. I'll get there one day. Nice Euro Carrera. Yeah, clean. Chrome wheels. We don't like them. We'll be honest. Yeah, I don't know. Chrome, take your ass home. <laughs> but he, well, at least he finished it with the uh, the chrome exhaust tip as well. He, he, he's keeping it shiny. Tying in the chrome. <laughs> oh, we got a slam came in here. Oh, look at that. Is that so, is Gabe here? Thoughts on this? What do you think? Um, Body kit. Wheels are too, it's wheels got 9/11 wheels too big. Stuff. Wheels are yeah. too big. 100% yeah. too big. Yeah. Uh, it still looks good though. But it, oh, he's on air. Uh, uh, you know what? I remember that car from last year. Is, does, is that a uh, that's a 991 GT3 RS front? Is it not? Um, it looks like it yeah, is. Yeah, I think it it's a GT3. I don't know if it's an RS because, yeah, uh, it looks good though. Yeah. I mean, I think he's got a ducktail uh, yeah. on the back. He's got the LEDs. It's the clean. I mean, it has its own look. I mean, yeah. I think the wheels fit it. I mean, it is what it is. I, mean, I like the wheel I mean, choice style. I think. I think yeah. maybe. Little cassis uh, red action here. Yeah, Mister. Is, is yeah, it's, it's a cassis car. Yeah. yeah. Nice little car. Looks pretty. Nice. Beam actually looks really good in that car. Oh, he was on track. Yeah, it, yeah. That car sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. Um, how do you feel? Oh, he's got a instead of Carrera, he's got it. Yeah, that says Cassis. Yeah, that's, that's what I was gonna say. That's that's why I said Cassis car. That's how do what you I feel about it. funky like normal like people doing that to badges on their car? Are you okay with that? You, I mean, it's making it your own, I guess. I I'd rather take the badges off, but that's. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I, yeah, I'm exactly. Not, not the, I'm not the biggest fan. It's our boy right there. There he is. Miami 964. So good. So he, good. you were th- were you standing there when he told me his – because so Friday, c- continuing on what we were mm-hmm. talking about, Friday was really, really rainy at the track, but they still let people go out. Oh, I know just, what you're going to say. I'm excited. Yeah. And people, oh, people race in the rain. It's just part of the deal, and mm-hmm. people paid, so people wanted to run. So our buddy here in the, in the C2, he was out there. He was out there and he looped the car, but he looped it on track and he stayed on track. So he did like two three yeah. sixties yeah. in front of and our then, boy yeah, back, right uh, back Vivek. Vivek. Vivek, yeah. And uh, and then recovered straight and kept going. <laughs> so hell of a driver. Oh, yeah. um, good for not damaging the car, oh. but just to kind of like show oh. you that the the conditions of yeah. like what that really was like oh, out there it was like super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Chit, chit uh, chat, yeah, yeah, boys here showing up right now, talking trash. But um, yeah, so that was that interesting day. Um, I didn't run that day. I ran in the afternoon um, out there, but you know, just for the parade lap, it started to dry up. But it was really, really soggy in the morning. Needless to mm-hmm. say, um, kudos to the people that braved the storm <laughs> yeah, and Chad went was, out there. Chad was out there, wasn't he? In the way? Yeah, he was. Danny from RMC was out there, and these you <laughs> know rear-wheel the, drive no, turbo no. cars, monster power. They yeah. were out there driving. And uh, they were really enjoying it because they were sliding the car. Yeah. Um, and if, if you're comfortable with your car, I slid mine even when it was dry a couple times. And uh, it was one of those things where when you slide the car a little bit, yeah, it kind of ex- is a little exhilarating because these things usually are so planted and hook up so much and they kind <laughs> yeah. of just snake well, around. It's probably a little uneasy. Yeah, That's when you get to yeah. hoon it a little bit, yeah. it's actually kind of cool. So I, I enjoyed it because on, on Friday, like I said, the track was still a little damp even when we did our parade mm-hmm. lap. And I we got to hoon it just a hair, which was pretty cool. How's it going, guys? Um, but, yeah, it was pretty badass. I, I enjoyed it a little bit. So I can't even imagine when it was really, really soggy what those guys were yeah. doing. So they were just probably literally, like, walking the tail all over the place and having a good time with a, it. Yeah, you know, like, controlled, yeah, yeah like a controlled yeah, slide, you know, because it was helping out as far as, like, all that goes. But super, super awesome day. Um, so what else did we do on, like, help me remi- uh, remind me. So Friday. So it was, Friday was, track day, so was kind of rainy. We had a great breakfast. Yep. Um, you know, we went to the track, hung out. Um, 
came back, yeah. showered, washed the cars up, and yeah, then we, we went to in, yeah. beat beat culture brewing. Beat culture brewing, yep. That's because that's what the Esmeralda was there. That's yeah, what just, just passed. Yeah, he just built that 3.8 in that car. Um, as you saw it go by on camera, pretty badass build. <laughs> that's him. Um, super proud of it. You know, it was a, a long trying process. Like he had to go through a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, did. just that's the car, that. just random stuff, not just with the motor yeah. build. Like there was just random stuff going on with the car, as far as but. Ear to ear grin, you know, yeah. he was showing the motor like off that. to us at Beat Culture Brewing. Why don't you talk to us a little bit about Beat Culture because I'm that, just I mean, rambling here. <laughs> it was a pretty cool spot, um, and it had for the. I didn't realize there was gonna be that many cars there. I figured there'd be a few, but it was still packed. And as people were leaving, other people were just filtering in. Uh, the beer was the beer was pretty good if you're a beer person. It was tasty. Food was good. Food was really good. Mm -hmm. Nashville chicken. And Nashville chicken hot. We recommend right. That was really good. That and the uh, chocolate velour, or uh, velour jumpsuit. It's got like chocolate and vanilla porter beer. Yeah, that was really really good. Yeah, it was pretty tasty. Um, yeah, a lot, I mean a lot of people showed up for it. I mean, all the all the rally, all the Baja cars that we've seen everywhere else uh -huh. were there hanging out. I was surprised to hear like, like when you were kind of walking around and talking about the uh, the Rossport, the red car. Yeah. And how they're driving it around all week. Yeah. Like, that's their just, that's just their car. Uh-huh. Like, that's like their rental. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about yeah. uh, Jeff Gomez. Yeah, Jeff uh, Gomez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that, that, that guy. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, there's What's our buddy David Gods. Those guys are from Dave our area. Dunn. Yeah. That's nice. That's cool. I didn't Somebody's going to steal it in the pen. Like, yep. some clown has the alarm on their car. Pretty <laughs> awesome. Is that Rob? Rob from England. Oh yeah, it's England Green. It's England Green. Yeah. Well, it's not me. <laughs> so this is the joys of yeah. you guys get to listen to this when we don't filter anything. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm sure that you all love that. Total fucking amateur hour. Yeah, good job. Stuff. Guys. Yeah, I mean, things in a actually like locked in area, and and homie's got the <laughs> alarm on it. Come yeah. on, bro. With tons of cops. There's so many cops around here. No one's going to touch your shit, man. No. Come on, man. Get out of here with that. Dude. So, back, I mean, back to beat culture. It, it was a cool little spot. It's it's neat. It's nicely located right around off the uh, the expressway. And uh huh. It was cool. I mean, uh, it was a It was a good vibe, yeah, too, yeah. is what I really liked about it. Like, I think the vibe there was really cool. And fortunately, with that rain, speaking of weather, oh, yeah. it brought in really, really cool air. Oh, so, was, like, which is that. very, very strange and rare for Miami. Like, yeah. last, like what was it? Beat Culture Night, it was actually cold. It yeah, was it in was, the 50s in Miami. Weather. Yes, it was jacket weather. And sure. then even last night, it was uh, not chilly, but it was comfortable in the 60s. Yeah. I felt Everybody like, vibing there. Yeah. yeah. And, um... Yeah, that beautiful India RS. Um, we'll have to. <laughs> Magnus Walker signed. Yeah, Mangus. <laughs> That's an inside <laughs> no, joke. No, so I so I heard another story. Uh, we were talking with his friend Jen, and she somebody called him Mango. Oh, some kid, and then she came up here, Mango. <laughs> so. So that's his name. Mango. So that's that Mango Mangus. All these nicknames. Yeah, that sticks. Yeah. Junior Varsity. Oh, here we go. Look at this beautiful stock, 100%. Killer, bro. Boxed or rolling in. Beast mode. He, he did opt for the uh, the red brakes, though. Yeah. He's probably getting on track. Crushing the game. Prototype Safari ride oh, height on goodness. that. I didn't realize that. Is that stock? The stock ride height? It's super tall. I don't know. I think he probably had it lifted. <laughs> oh, wow. He's not, not the, the 991 behind him. He's not doing too much better. Yeah. Couldn't get it up high enough, so it's actually, like, put a lift put a lift kit on it it's like you know what i mean yeah so that's kind of what they did but <laughs> interesting what do you think about the green color though is it is that mama green or whatever they call it yeah i think it has some type of metallic in it i think it's kind of cool but i mean it's period correct i mean it's really i think it goes good with the chrome or the, the yeah the chrome yeah. target instead of the blacks yeah that's yeah good. it doesn't look bad i mean again we've had this target conversation many many times oh it's, no i mean we don't like them yeah <laughs> it's like total afterthought <laughs> Oh, this 993 coming up is pretty nice. And yeah. I would believe to be Riviera Blue. It is. I remember that car from last year. It actually kind of showed up when we did last year. I remember that car. It kind of mm -hmm. came in with us. That's why I kind of was like, oh, yeah, that's a really nice car. How do you feel about tire lettering? 
Why we're looking at it? Uh, you fan? I feel like it only goes on NASCAR. R- 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 no, RWB. Okay. Oh, RWB. Like, okay. Because they kind of did their thing with the idlers and put their stamp yeah. on it, and then after that, everybody felt like they they felt obliged. Meaning or? street car wise, I I, I mean, mm. MSA cars, you know, Michelin, th- they are all doing that stuff prior to that. But yeah. I, I mean, I guess I, I think be. for a street car, I get where he's going. I guess it's my kind of motorsport. Yeah, I mean teach their own mm. you know I, mm. I don't i'm kind of over being trying to be politically cor- correct i mean if the car is warrants it i guess but i mean when you yeah, have to go out of it. your way to like stencil it on there i mean <laughs> come on yeah nice what do you think it was the champagne i think it's it looks pretty good oh yeah that car was at rmc yesterday displayed yep. for a little bit that's a what's that's it, kind of a ra- it's kind of a rare car it's a turbo bodied car but okay. it's not a turbo oh, which is kind of weird but he put turbo car on there oh, i like these center locks on Ooh. this guy right here i think it's beast man yeah you need it to work is. on that ride height but yeah i mean we've some some of us have been there you were you were not there you, you're just hid for a long time right yeah i mean <laughs> I, that's just me teach their own like i wouldn't even bring my car out because i'm just like so picky about the way things have to look if I, I bring it out. I do not it's like got that. a carbon fiber tail. I that's know. a I'm, I'm out of that's like a that's like a K four Kramer yeah, tail yeah, yeah, on that exactly, thing. Yeah. You um, must have a giant I wonder if that's a turbo car. It better be a turbo Maybe. car if he's wrecking <laughs> it, it's got turbo brakes. I don't yeah. I don't think he I mean sure. It's a turbo it's car. I just took a headphones off. And if it's not his plate's black turbo. It looks so. good. It's yeah. just I think the front brake needs to come down just a hair. Yeah. I agree with you. I see where you're saying. And then I think a little bit more then, angle, and then I think he's then he's killing it. And then and then uh, put a slant nose on it. And then no, no I would screw with that. I, I, I kind of like the way it looks. Um, I would just bring it down you just a it hair. Reminds, it reminds me of Al's car. Yeah, I think that's probably the theme. That's what it is. The theme yeah, with yeah. it. Mm-hmm. But but I would def- I like the way it looks. But I would bring the nose of it down just a hair. But just a little bit, you know. I don't know. Not, I, it doesn't need to be slammed because it's got a motorsporty yeah. look. But it's it, it looks like the front's just up a little bit too are much. You, uh, what are you what are your is there opinion on uh, black on black like black on black wheel like black body black like that, wheels that car yeah yeah, yeah I like it the the, that. the stealthy look mm-hmm. I think it still has a place I don't think it's played out I think a lot of people were doing it there for a while but I still like it I still think it looks okay like I wouldn't worry about it too too much um, if if I had a black turbo I probably do that actually just, if I had a 930 turbo mean. like I would just black it all out if okay. I had a black interior I would I would I would get rid of the like chrome lip on the Fook mm. and black it all out. I like that look. I think it looks pretty tough. But I don't know. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like um, the all black I just thing? think things get lost in all black. Like black wheels. Tires. I, I, yeah. There's not, I mean, not, not, I have a black car, but I, I, I wouldn't put black wheels just for that case. I think too much gets lost in there. So on that 930 Turbo just went by, what would you do to that car? Then if you if you um, was all black he those black center locks if you I'd probably do traditional like gold, probably like gold wheels. Gold could look good on that. Gold bronze, any of those, any of that that shade family root beer, that something like this, something like that, and probably maybe a chrome lip, maybe not. Yeah. Go on black, maybe a black, a black polished lip with a with a satin bronze in center. Uh huh. Oh, here's your favorite nine fourteen. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Nice. Well, that's actually a well-done 914. And well, wide it's body. because it's a wide body. That's so, why. See, it gives it such a different look, yeah, right? Yeah, it does. I like it. It looks a little bit tougher. It's got a little bit yep. of a duck tail in the, in the rear. Yep, he needs to... So would you drive a 914 uh, like that? I think I might be turn. I, I might I might turn on that. Yeah. I might do an outlaw. If I did an outlaw build like that, yeah. I like this GT2 coming. Oh, man. Well, that's not signal. What color is that? I think that's pastel. Ah. I mean, it's clearly a tribute car. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, not to be disrespectful, yeah, yeah, yeah. like it's a great, it's a great looking car. I mean, yeah. there are just so few of them. That's mm. that's why I mean, that's why I said that. I, I'm not trying to be nasty about it, but bad boys like car coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's a three six or no? I think it's a three six. Okay. Those, those well, speed lines look pretty pretty yeah. nice. <laughs> pretty legit. Yeah. Okay. Guy's really waiting on the picture. He's huh? got the AC on too. Oh yeah, enjoy even though life. it's like nice out. <laughs> yeah, don't enjoy this weather. This weather no. was beautiful this morning when we left at 
5 a.m. whenever we left. I was thinking, you know, the funny thing is, even though I have a 6.4 and that's the one I wanted, I was thinking of, like, if I did buy another air cool, this was a while ago, this isn't something recent, but I was thinking about yeah. buying a, a 993, but if I bought one, I was going to do a D- GT2 tribute car, like, uh-huh. I'd buy a narrow body Carrera and I do, I would do that look. It looks tough. Um, but my, minus, you know what I was going to do is I, I, do. I was going to do the fenders, I was going to do uh, the front lip, the side yep. skirts, but I was going to do a duck tail on the rear. That'd be sick. With it. Like just what? to kind of switch it up a little bit to not put the, you know the GT2 like that wing on it. I think, and I think it would look better. I think that aesthetically it would look better than. I, I mean, think it would look pretty dope, right? Yeah, it would look good. That would be. You get that width, and then. Of course it would be dope. Because I, I have good. Like uh, whatever I, whatever <laughs> I say it, goes, it right? Is, now. It is, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah. I say is the best. Yeah, the whatever whatever I you know put together is gonna look the best. No, I'm just kidding. But I think it would look pretty cool, right? Oh yeah, I'm just be. just uh, a little bit, you know, just to go off well, tra- almost, off tradition yeah. of like, okay, that's how it's supposed to look. But it's and not yeah, a G, so it's it's not it's, a GT2. Not a GT2. So, so you'd then you're be, not fronting. Yeah, that you'd bad. be even better about that. I was gonna, yeah, that's why. And that's kind of like my theory behind it, not because it's like, oh my god, I, I have to do this or I have to do that yeah. or. You know, I, it's just kind of one of those things. It's like, oh, so you buy the whole GT2 like mock kit or the G, you know, and then you try to do it, whatever. But you just do your own thing. Yeah, well, so think when you do that thing, you know, you're gonna get the question, oh, is it real? All the time. Well, I don't know because I, I mean, like maybe guys like us don't won't ask, but my, like ask other him. people might ask. But yeah. I mean, he has 993 GT2 on his tag. He's gone pretty. It far. could be a legit one. I mean, <laughs> I could be hating. I mean, he could probably give us some hate mail and say, "No, it's legit, bro." I, I was, or I was, or he's really bought in I, on, on the Fugazi that, and going like, balls yeah. out with oh, like the plate man. and everything and yeah, being like, "Hey, really this going. is what's happening right now, right?" And this is what we're doing. Yeah. And I'm going. I'm 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 all in. Yeah, we have like 80 percent Asian blocking our shot. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> He's nice and awake, <laughs> Ernie, with his nice Targa. How do you feel about his Targa build? Uh, actually, I mean, for not liking Targa's being... See, what, what I like about it is it's uh, that flat black roll bar. That yeah. really does a lot for it, because muting it. It's got black wheels on it, it's though. It's got... Uh, okay. <laughs> yes, you've got me there. I like his style of black wheels. Hey, hey, what's up? So, I know. Burnout, bro. Do a burnout. You won't do it. Do a burnout. You won't do it. No, no, you're good. No, no, you're good. Do a burnout, asshole. (laughs) (laughs) And that's why we love Ernie. And we're going to cause an accident out here, like egging people on. (laughs) (laughs) We're like, ow, we're just going to talk about cars, and now we have a burnout contest starting. (laughs) Do you see the PCA guy get all upset over there? Yeah. He's so Hey, we're supposed to have fun. Untuck your shirt, bro. <laughs> Look at this. This is that India Red RS I was telling you about coming in. Yeah. I think it's oh, one of twelve. I thought that was gonna be a Miami street fight there for a minute. <laughs> hey Drew, I thought that guy was gonna get swung on. That guy's serious, bro. I wish my GoPro on me. That would have been a great like gift to have. <laughs> yeah, have to wait for me. <laughs> Dude, uh, like so background behind that, our buddy Ernie was like hooning a little bit, and yeah. there was this like jank old ass Targa in front of him, was, like super curmudgeon PCA, yeah, yeah. like fifty seven year member in front of him. <laughs> Seems got a bad. Yeah, guy was a, a member since he was born. He knew he was wearing his and old then, name tag. You know, he was wearing the band T shirt to the to the thing with his yeah. shirt tucked in to the, the jean shorts. <laughs> and I think he was in the wrong car, actually. <laughs> I think he left his Corvette at home and uh, got in that thing. But anyways, he was driving a Targa, so what's that say? Right? No. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, um, Ernie was also... Yeah. Uh, Ernie would have done a burnout. Yeah, if, he wanted to do... I don't think he was. He's, he's running triple eights. I don't, they're too sticky to run. Like anyways, I'm talking bad. shit because the guy like flipped out and the guy was... Ernie wasn't even going to hit his car. Come on. Ernie loves his car more than that other car. So <laughs> he's like, you're getting too close to my car. Like literally gets out of his car because these they're in a train to go park right now. Yeah. The guy's like freaking out. I mean... Yeah, it's okay, bro. I'm not trying we're, to act hard respectful. on the radio, but if you're going to say something like that, you're probably going to get throat punched if you <laughs> do that shit around me. There you go. But um, roof action. Yeah. It's roof wheels. Not cool, though. 
um, terrible for, for that guy's behavior. Like Ernie wasn't even like out no, of control. He, that that guy doesn't even know what out of control is. No, he wouldn't know um, at all. But anyways, he probably wears like tidy whities and stuff, and <laughs> like still trying to figure. Yes, it I'm, out. I'm pretty sure we can nail his demographic. Yeah, yeah. Kmart sucks, right? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the car we've been talking about all weekend. We keep saying it. The chrome wheels. Yeah, I mean, it's period correct. It is. Uh, the ride height's good, though. It's just not. Oh, yeah. He's, he's got that he's dialed He's got that in. dialed. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that, being, you know, me with a no wheel gap. None. Run some Toyo proxies. Yeah. Sounds good, too. I think that car, I remember that car. I think that car was for sale a few years ago at Vertex. Yeah. And I think, obviously, he's the one who bought it, and Vertex is down here, so it makes sense. But anyways, it's a good-looking car. Oh, it's got Pasha interior. Oh, he stepped that game All right, way you up. you just went up. Level up. You just, oh, you man. get it. That's good, too. You get a chrome pass for that. That's, just, that's the same style Pasha that was in that 959 of the collection. Chrome, chrome pass, no problem. <laughs> well, we'll allow it. See, like, I think on that car, which would really actually set it off, is if they were just powder-coated all black. Scraping. Yeah, if they were powder coated all black wheels, like oh, that, that would thing be, would be oh, fire with the posh and like, like the, the posh yeah. interior. What's yeah. up, Mike? What's up, bro? Nice and early, brother. One of our yeah. boys from Cali's here, Fire. filming with Drew. Boy yeah. Mike, big shout out to him. Big shout out to Drew from Cool Collective. A lot of boys traveled here. The oh, yeah. Zuffenhausen boys came out here. We hung out with them, Mike yeah. and his crew. They were good dudes. Yeah, hung out with us all day yesterday. Essentially, which what a bunch of great dudes. Um, super super cool so like again we were here first here all the film crews here now but yep. we beat them <laughs> we beat them to that's, it that's what's gonna that mine's gonna look like kind of like that that's uh, i don't want the spoiler and this is kind of like dc's yeah but fugazi gt3 rs <laughs> yeah no gt3 rs bro oh man like tell this that's, story. talk that's... talk about that story talk about how we've been razzing him all weekend oh, so man. tell so give background on who D, what DC drives and then what we've been like doing to him essentially as a group collectively. So, I mean, I, I, what I believe happened is something happened in DC's car and then he started modding it. But so it's a Carrera. I mean, there's no base Carrera, race right. Carrera, not an S, 997. 997. I think it's a 2009. It's a dot two. And so it is as much as a GT3 RS as you could possibly get <laughs> without being a GT3 RS. I mean, he, he didn't do the center exhaust. I'll give him that. He didn't go that far. Yeah, yeah. But the relentless jokes of GT3, GT3 RS have not stopped since the second they got there. And to be fair, house. the car is super clean. It is very it clean. I love the way it it's looks. It's on rotiform. And we're just so evil to each other as friends. <laughs> like, literally, I mean, if you weren't friends, you'd fight yeah, I mean, over the stuff we were saying to each other. <laughs> He's got turbo fan rotiforms, which are those things. It looks fun. It really is a really good looking car for how it's done yeah but i mean just like the he little knows what's going on the little comments like for example our buddy ethan super cool guy we're all sitting there you know everybody's just kind of razzing each other in the morning as we're getting ready and and that comment came up <laughs> oh the cleaning part yeah, yeah yeah and i think dc ended up burning through some paint on his lower rocker and he's like oh, i gotta go get some touch-up paint and he's like oh and he's like it's urethane down there it's not steel down by that portion of yeah. the rocker and our buddy Ethan says, oh, I thought on uh, GT3 RSs that was all carbon fiber. <laughs> just mic dropped him. Like, and this was like 7.30 a.m. Like, we all just, we just hammered him at the beginning of the day. Speechless. DC Dead silence. Like, all of us are uh, pissed laughing for because yeah. it was so timely for literally minutes. And then later on another yeah. day. Uh, Ethan's still burning. Ethan's been getting him a Ethan's, lot. That's just He's Ethan. Honest. He's just a sarcastic ass, which <laughs> why we love him, and it's just hilarious. And we're so mean to each other, all of us. Um, but, I mean, that's kind of like how you show the love, right? You're mean yeah. to each other. and the well, mean, Almost like the meaner you are to somebody, like the more you like you like them. Well, the Cali guys that came out, they were also starting to jump on that bandwagon. Yeah, because they were following our lead on yeah. that. And he's like, man, you guys aren't even from here and you're going after me. <laughs> but uh, the funny thing is they came and they all were riding shotgun in all our cars because they yeah. just Ubered here and from the airport. And we had, what, 11, 911s at the house or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and easily. all of us are driving solo. So we all have an empty seat, <laughs> like exactly. total douchebaggery. Um, <laughs> you can ride with me? No, bro. Yeah. You can drive. <laughs> so 
long story short, we go outside Friday morning yeah. to go do cars and coffee at the collection, mm-hmm. and <laughs> the Ethan hits him again. And he's like. They're, the Cali guys are like, which cars are we riding? And I was like, Mike, you can ride with me in the 6.4. I think somebody got in the turbo. And then he, and he's, and somebody said, well, I want to ride in the GT3. And Ethan goes, well, there's two. Which one? And boom, Mike drop again, hit him with that. So that's the background story on behind that. We, we it, love DC because he's such a good sport yeah. with it. Um, it's hilarious. And his car looks great. It, it does. really it does. does. And it's not for lack of not looking good it's just kind of like we're just assholes and that's kind of what we do so <laughs> yeah i mean you're not loved if you're not hated on so that's, exactly. that's what it is i mean if you, about this, if, if you cannot if you cannot beat down your friends like what's the point of having them as friends right <laughs> yeah then you're not real friends mm-hmm. so. yeah it's one of those things where it's kind of like what do you do <laughs> but either way um, so that's the story behind that. So continuing along with so what we, we did. Just ask him how his GT3 yeah, RS Say, is. how's that GT3 RS going, bro? <laughs> um, so Friday collection, yep. which started at 9, but really started at like 7.30 because yeah, I did. just like traditional cars and coffee, everybody. Everybody's there super early for no reason. Everybody's got to get there crazy early, one up something. Yeah. Always. So we show up mm-hmm. and we talk to Al and Sunil and Jaime. Hey, what time should we get there? Oh, if you get there around 8.30, should be fine. Yeah, we Jaime just got into yeah. parking at 8.30, yeah. which is great for the event itself mm-hmm. and the collection. So it's just a personal complaint. As usual, the collection lit the house on fire Phenomenal. with with uh, what they ended up doing as far as what they brought to yep. the table mimosas again yep. um they had food trucks you know everything's yeah, catered yeah. you know everything's free um you know they have the they had the Taycan on display turbo yep. s on display no, Taycan turbo yeah they, they, didn't have the, they didn't have the turbo no there was a turbo s where car nine nine eleven oh turbo s yeah dick munch too. um that was two different cars oh yeah. All right. So that was in there. And then they also were, like, super chill with, like, saying, hey, this is what's going on. This is what's – oh, this is Kelly Moss car. Yeah. Willie. <laughs> That's the name of him. Oh. Yeah, they named it. <laughs> but – That's cool. Yeah, super, super cool. Actually, that looks really clean. You know why that looks so clean? Because yeah. there's a stupid one for sale on our Facebook market. Yeah, exactly. That's why, that's why I keep seeing them. Like, and there's the other one that he, like, yeah, his buddy Mike bought yeah. or whatever. Like, interior that, on that is so nice. Yeah, that's the part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the Recaro. So, uh, so, so nice. It. Like, yeah. badass. Like, I love that car. So clean. It's hard and everything. It's far Texas. It looks good. Yeah. Real good. It's pretty cool car. A lot of cool stuff coming out. Golf livery. Yeah. These two, these two back to back were, back to back were like killers, right? Yeah, absolute killers. 100%. What's up, brother? How are you, man? What's up, dude? What's up, bro? Bright and early, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I like that. I didn't. I don't think I've ever seen the. I realized there was a light bar in the back, like where the tail tail light is, where the Porsche would be. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I knew this. I noticed that at Amelia when it was there. That's such a killer build. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Would you, uh, so if you built yours, would you do the uh, tire rack on top? Would you No, do I like rack? that list. The, yeah. the second one, the clean look. What's up, brother? Uh, the clean look on the second car. Like, I like that. Hey, how you doing? Who's that guy? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't want to be douchey, but I don't remember. I, it's, no, no, no. Uh, I, I, I know. We. I mean, I, I'm not. I think we spoke with him. Ooh, I like the spec on that Speedster. Okay. It reminded me of the stupid story, the Blue Angel Turbo, for some reason. Oh, that blue, God. That blue and yellow. That guy cover. was the worst. <laughs> but, uh, and I love the Blue Angels, and he made me not like them after that. You know, I'm surprised he didn't step it up and get the uh, the gold badging. Yeah. Because Why didn't he amazing. put, like, a... Like, I'm surprised it didn't display, like, the whole, like, Blue Angel lineup, <laughs> like, that, with the little j- die-cast airplanes. You, you know that that wasn't at that show, but it was happening somewhere yeah. else. They were on order. They were starting to show up. Yeah, I'm going to Amazon right now. Exactly. Oh, it's yeah. like, bro, where are they at? Like, I'm trying to get them. They, He's probably calling them right now. They're like, back or in my ass. Like, <laughs> I need them for the work reunion. Uh, overnight. I'm not going to win work reunion without this. Like, I got this Guards Red 996 Turbo, and he's yeah. going to get me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, but uh, oh yeah, is that Speed Yellow, the GT2 RS? I think it. Or what, is it what, a different version? Uh, no, no, no. That like that one is uh, they call that one Racing Yellow. I think. Uh, okay. Yeah, which I don't know. 
<laughs> Do you think it's really close? I just think it's one of those things. I mean, we can make up all types of crazy colors, you know, like Dookie eventually, Brown. Eventually it's just yellow. Yeah. Miami Fall Brown. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a certain mean, kind of brown. Mean, it's like in like Miami. Poo, poo Brown? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Baby shit green. <laughs> that, that box is set up really well. I mean, the... Yeah, it looks lower, it's, it's, doesn't oh, it? Oh, niche wheels. Mm-hmm. I think that's Nietzsche. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're I think here. the French like to yeah, say Nietzsche. Nietzsche. <laughs> Nietzsche. Oh, here he comes. He's crushing the game with his stock. 991. There's our uh, Airbnb neighbor. Coming oh, up. yeah. Eric. Yeah. That's such our, a clean Al- bill. Alex. Alex, sorry. Hey, Alex. Alex. Something with an A, right? <laughs> You, you got it. Yeah. That's clean, though. Eric with an A. Yeah. How's that work? <laughs> <laughs> Total Miami. <laughs> Eric with an A. <laughs> Eric. So, yeah. His car is so clean. Such hey. a good build. Like hey. that fashion gray. That's so good. With the, just is he everything. running a 3.2 motor in it? I forget what he's I like, running. I think it is 3.2. Okay. I mean, it's a G-body car like that he's just... I mean, not like taking it away from his build. Like, I don't know. I think there's a little bit of motor work. I mean, it's crazy that he did that. Like at his house. Yeah, that. That's uh, the crazy part about yeah, it. Yeah, the the paint work was done behind yeah. his gar- behind his garage in like a little like makeshift booth. Yeah, like Aaron said, like he wasn't joking. Like we Airbnb the house he actually lives right next to. Yeah. And I, we all show up, and he comes out, and he's like, "Hey, what's up?" And I was like, "Dude, I know your car." And he's like, "I know your car." And then he pulls that out of the garage, and I'm like, holy shit, dude. Yeah, you, a, you won, like, the Outlaw build yeah. last year at DRT. And so we hung out. and they had a black turbo hiding in yeah, the garage. Yeah, so added an, an additional 911 to the group. Yeah. Um, hanging out. And then but across the street was a Cayman guy. It's so clean, man. It's so well <laughs> done. It is. It's like... It, it, and that's the thing is, like, why I said about G-Bodies, too. Mm-hmm. See how he cleaned... That, all that stuff got cleaned up. Yeah. Like, I just like G-Bodies. Bumpers, you just clean good. the bumpers yeah. up. Get the accordions off. Get the crash bumper stuff off of it. Hear that, he Mel? Clean that up. <laughs> oh yeah, Mel's too country club. He's keeping it like the way it is. <laughs> oh wow, that's that's a pretty green. Country club fights. <laughs> Mel was sharing some country club fight stories, which were hilarious. <laughs> your son runs a stop sign in the neighborhood. I'll whip your ass. That- oh yeah. I'll choke you out. You're 410. How about that? Yeah. I, I I've would, never fought a midget before, but when, I'll beat that ass. When the lady got kicked in the face into the pool, I think oh, that, yeah. was, that was the highlight of my... <laughs> yeah. Of those I had to, like, stories. ask that again. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Foot to this face. This other, the other, mo- other soccer mom kicked the other soccer mom in the face in yeah. the pool. She's like, yeah, she was sitting down in the pool. She called her a see you next Tuesday <laughs> and then punted her in the face. <laughs> Like in backsplash, like a movie back into the pool. They they only got suspended for a few weeks. Yeah, probably because they're heavy spenders, but whatever. Yeah, probably so. But we were joking around. I was like, "Can we get members at this pl- club? Because this actually sounds like pretty like drama filled enter- entertainment." <laughs> exactly. It's like it's high class wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> watching these baby boomers like fight each other over stupid shit oh, is yeah. hilarious. I told you not to put your trash cans at the end of the driveway after trash pickup. <laughs> you still you left it out there and it needs to be moved. Exactly. Immediately. Oh, that's. Uh, yeah, it's a good look. I like that. Yeah, that's. I've yeah, just never cool. seen it. Yeah, Miami, but, Miami uh, calipers. It's impressive the things that people fight over. Um, you know, and we're discussing like your homeowners association crap and stuff like that. I mean, if you're one of those guys and you're listening to us, I'm going to be flat out with you. Stop listening to us because you're not our people. Um, because, and what I mean by that, not saying if you live in a homeowner situation, I'm saying if you're one of the ones on the board and you're that guy who yep. sends the letter 24 <laughs> hours after somebody's boat is like parked in their yard. You see his plate? Sorry, right. I mean. Yeah. No, yeah, I've seen that play. I've seen that play well, he's before. Got that, that Miami play we started liking. Yeah, don't be that guy. Like that guy with the targa earlier oh. that that we bitched oh. at, yeah. and with the t- the t- tucked in shirt and yeah. that like snapped on Ernie. That's the guy who sends the letter like <laughs> he's the a, very next morning. He's got, he's got a template because a, you haven't yeah. blown the leaves off your driveway. Yeah. He's got like a that's that up. guy. He's don't be that guy because. You're you're being talked about yeah. right now if you're that guy. Dude, this 928, I'm not a fan of 928s, and this would be... This it is looks pretty, pretty tough, yeah. though. It, oh, you know, it looks, uh, it's got different vendors, like a fixed headlight vendor. Yeah. That's what that's what's making the difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're yeah. right. You're uh, right. Actually, I think it's a, an entire kit. I don't, know, I don't know what kit it is. 
Yeah, I'm feeling that 964 that looks, right there. It looks super clean. Like, yeah. It's that just is, like Darren's car. Yeah, it is like Darren's. Just with cup, gold cups on it. Yeah. Looks really, really good. Is that, uh, is that the same color? Uh, no, it's, that's lighter than Darren's, right? The shade? No. Shade it oh, changes like. Oh, that's the same color? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't like, because it's not like flipping paint, but it's. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same color. Okay. Maybe like that just, wine. Maybe just when I saw it, it was darker. That wine color. Mm. I think it was just, remember when we were in California, it was like overcast for like seven days straight. <laughs> the hard. sun's hitting that right now. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of like that. But yeah, Popping it looks it good. I'm still trying to figure out, I guess, if that Carrera behind it yeah. is sitting up really, really high. Yep, that's stock. So... I don't think that's a... He's got an EMSA sticker on there. I don't think that's an EMSA-approved ride height for that. <laughs> or, I don't think it's an anyone-approved ride height. Or the bicycle even, on top. I don't even feel like my car was that high at one point. I don't think it was that high, but... No, but it was pretty pretty high. It was pretty I, disgusting. I that. It was pretty bad. But, yeah, I mean, it. I, I really have a hard time with this whole... I don't know. Is it the bike carrying thing you have a hard time with? What's the? Yeah, I mean, I get like David Gauss's is kind of cool. He had a vintage bike on it, but like this one, it's, like, you know, is what? this guy gonna go for a ride right now? Like, no, what the you, fuck is that about, man? It like, feels like they. You, you, we've been in the Volkswagen game. That's what it feels like. No, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's all like a display thing, but like that—that's a sports car, dude. Like, yeah. I mean, but there's no point to have the bike on the road. I mean, he had to go get a special thing to put that on there. Like that took thought. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's got that the, wasn't he's got that, the full that, that wasn't like something that just kind of like happened. Yeah. Oh, and he uses a sunroof. This guy's losing it. He's losing points by the second. Yeah. He's running Hankooks on there too. Oh. Get yeah. it out of here, bro. His, his plastic dip flat black. T rash. <laughs> the lobsters. That's a T E E R A S. Oh. Yeah, I can't. T rash. I'm not gonna be able to unsee that. Oh, look at this. Ars yeah, America. Ars America. See, they're doing it right. There it is. See, that's what you need to be. If you're a baby boomer, this guy's rocking it hard. RSA, yeah. wife in there, done out. They yeah. got the thing lowered, too. Yeah, it's looking. It doesn't look like a donkey. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. See, they got their life together. See? Yeah. They probably have cool kids, too, you know? That nine, why is that nine, is that 992 front uh, going to lift? Like, is it, is he has his front axle yeah. lift on. Yeah, yeah. That's why. Ooh, I like this 996 <laughs> turbo. Yeah. A lot. This thing is that, oh, it's got BPI in the front. GT2 front lip. Yeah. GT2 rear wing on it. There yeah, we go. There we go. Some actions. Oh. That's a lot of special things. Oh, shit. Bike. We got some lawn chairs here in front of us. Watch out, boys. <laughs> martini martini liver geared up. Oh, that's funny. Guy's going to get his seat right now. Yep. He's already got his six pack. Yep. It's going to be on. That shit's clean, man. Like super, super clean. Yeah. Oh, he's got he's got a the carbon uh, tail on it too. Yep. Man. See, if I get one, see how is it like Chad? Yeah, yeah. I, I, Chad doesn't want to be that low. Yeah. I want to be that you low. Where there should be that low. Where there's good. no wheel gap. Yeah. I mean, it's still not that low. No, no. Like there's still clearance there. I mean, that looks tough as yeah. nails Ooh, right GT3 now. Yeah, GT3 seats too. I think. Yeah, looks that like, looks super yeah. tough. Roll cage and every. Oh yeah. man, that looks good. I mean, good. that's well done. Would you try to get a carbon fiber front front lip? No, I probably wouldn't Since screw with it. It's because it's gonna get screwed up and damaged and. Okay. But I mean that car is clean. See, those are oh. freaking uh, E88s yeah, no, on that's there. Yeah, that's what I said. That's an E88, yeah, all day. And that's why I mean they look good. Fisk wheels look good on there too. Yeah. Like if you buy the car and they come with it. Ooh, see. There we go. Yeah. But, oh, there we go. He's. I think. I guess maybe it's a oh, real GT2. It, that that, that makes might sense be, then. That might be why it really looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Probably why it's real, really, really badass. Yeah. <laughs> Extra special. But yeah. Yeah, that thing is clean, mm -hmm. squeaky clean. Agree. I'm loving it. Not sponsored by McDonald's. No, not sponsored. Yeah. But holler at us. <laughs> but if you want to, we'll, we'll take some free yeah. nuggets. Speaking of sponsorship. This, uh, if you'd like to sponsor our podcast, please go to yeah. cartalk.com and email us. Yeah. Quit screwing around. Get on the Ooh, team. Ooh, this, this slant that this is coming up is yeah. different. I haven't seen that, that color scheme. 
quit making all the noise, RWB. Yeah. Please look at me. That's what that says. Yeah, you're already the widest, flashiest thing out here. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> how do you how do you feel about somebody who's like a Porsche driver in general that has the Porsche Motorsport hat, the vest, the shirt. He's the Corvette guy of our, of our, of our corner. Yeah. He really is. He's I, the Corvette Porsche guy. And, unless you're driving a GT car, I think that's a little bit of a pass. I don't even think so, man. Like, that's not, like... Not everything. Like, if you're wearing something motorsport, I, I think everything like is it. okay in moderation. Like, I'm not hitting somebody who's wearing a Porsche shirt or a hat, but I mean, like, you don't need to get, like... Full. You don't have to... Yeah. Like you said, you don't need to bring the band T-shirt to the concert. Yeah, that type thing. Yeah, you don't have to go over the top, man. We get it. You dr- you showed up in a Porsche. <laughs> yeah, you drove one. You're you're already good. You don't have to w- you don't have to be a Porsche when Ooh. you get out of the car. You know, that's like kind of like Joey from Friends. You know, it's like, hey, hey you know, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's, yeah, it's swing we get it. You're, you and on top of that too, you're at a Porsche event. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're here. There won't be any confusing what you drive here. Yeah. I almost kind of feel like that's like a, you know, a grown-ass man asking for an autograph or something. <laughs> hey, it's kind of weird. Hey, man, can you sign my, like, shirt, bro? Uh, it's like you're 55 years old. Why do you want... I mean, I'm not trying to... Like, I know there's people who collect stuff, but I mean, yeah. come on. Speaking of best wheels, they're just set right there. Yeah. it's The car sounds good, man. Yeah, it does. Probably LS. I like his style. <laughs> <laughs> guy's gonna freaking cut your nuts off. <laughs> it's like, LS my ass. I like I like that little the little um triple I don't know what you call it, line stripes down the side. Yeah. I like but, his exhaust setup. Look at that thing. Yeah, that's centered. Yeah. I think or it may just be one giant like one giant pipe. Yeah, I think it is one big giant pipe. It looks pretty tough though. Yeah it does. It's very Miami, I'll say that. Oh yeah. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah. He's got the giant plot light. Yeah. I'm going to stop saying that. I probably sound like a total turd saying yep. that. Loving it. That's the best. Again, not sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> but again, we will take some money. Again, <laughs> if you're listening and you work for a corporate or you're in marketing. We can work something out. Matching t-shirts, huh? Yeah, there it is. Got the luggage hanging out back. See, that's oh, the kind of shit. Like, there it is. There's PCA. It's its finest right yeah. there. And again, we don't hate on PCA people, but it's not a stereotype if it's reality. <laughs> we, are, we are wearing matching shirts right now, but that's work stuff. Yeah, but exactly. We're a, we're a work team. Those guys are, <laughs> I don't know, like a couples team maybe? I don't know. <laughs> yes, they could be a couples team. And there's nothing wrong with that either, <laughs> by the way. Hey, look, this looks just like Vivek's car. But it even pains Aaron and I to wear the same shirt for no, work. We, yeah, we Because he's uh, like, he asked, he's like, oh, you wearing your polo? I was like, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, okay. And then we wear them together, and it's like, damn, we look like tool bags. <laughs> but, hey, it's yeah. the uniform, you know. Hey, we're out here. We're working for you guys. It's just part of one of those deals. And that's what ends up happening. What do you think the count of Lava Orange GT3 RS is we're going to see us today? What I do don't think? know. It's kind of surprising, isn't I, it? I, I, well, there's at least three because there's Vivek, the other dude that stickered well, up. Well, Vivek didn't drive his car. Remember the stickered up GT3 RS? Yeah, but he, Vivek didn't bring his. Remember, oh, he, he brought know. the 964. Remember? Yeah, because he had the windshield. Yeah, he said, my windshield's chipped. It's broken. <laughs> can't bring it. Can't drive. <laughs> Got to bring the other 911. Isn't that the yeah. problem with us? Oh, we can't drive that one. See? Look at this lady. Okay. Right here. She's in her SC. Yeah. She's crushing it. Total G. Oh, yeah. She's got more style than half these Even dudes cu- out custom here. Custom plate, too. 83 yeah. Her That's car is cool. lowered. And that I'm blue, not familiar that with that, that oh. color, but that thing is oh. fire. If we can like, yell and ask her what Yeah. yeah. we got to see what that blue is. It's Take like your, a, I think it's almost like a Baltic metallic yeah, or something. That's like good. it's fire. It reminds though. me of like Mel's red, that that type of faded. And look how clean that paint yeah, is. Yeah, it's definitely clean. Good for you. Yeah, that's a U.S. car. That's she, a giant bumper. It's, she wins the Mrs. Award so far today. Oh yeah. She's driving she's solo. solo. Yeah. Cutting it up. Yeah. Lowered SC, she getting need, after it. She don't need a the man. ladies that are listening. <laughs> Take a page out of what she's doing because she she's because she's got it dialed in. Oh, and yeah. guys, she's showing your ass up. The ones, especially with the donkey ride height that have been coming in here, <laughs> go look at her car. She's yeah, got it figured it's out. Clean. She's got she's somebody, got style. Somebody has race pads on. 
for sure. Uh, that yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is. Oh, you're gonna get out and stand by it. I think he just wants to take a picture yeah. of it. Also. <laughs> my picture is gonna be better on my iPhone than your camera. I got this. To be fair, I think it's a foreign plate car, so he, this is probably he probably shipped it here. Uh, maybe. <coughs> he did take a picture with his popped collar. Yeah, it's part of the deal. So it's that kind of Porsche party. It's the, it's the, is invited. There you go. He needs to work on that paintwork, though. Yeah. There's a lot of holograms in that thing. <laughs> Needs to so, get that together. Yeah, that's true. His ride height is good, though. He's not, he's not yeah, crazy. Yeah, his torsion bar should be ride height. It doesn't cost you anything. It says DP on that bumper. I kind of like that. I mean, he's got some got some work in that car. I, turbo sounds... You know what? Yeah. I know that car. That car runs, like, it's mile stuff shift, down it's here. It's got your shifter stuff. That stuff runs, like, mile, a standing mile stuff down here. Oh, does here. it? Yeah. Oh, I've okay. seen he's, that. That car is fast. Nasty build. Like, really fast. It's, it sounds like it's about to take off. Yeah. Like, you hear, like, a big oh, yeah. snail under that thing. Yeah. Sounds like a big turbine engine just whistling. What a monster. Good for you. Well done, sir. Yeah. I See, I really that. like 930s in silver, like a lot. Yeah, it accentuates a lot of things. Yeah. I like it. I, I just think it looks good in that car. Good Look catch. at that piping yeah. underneath that. Oh, thing. yeah, it's serious. Yeah. Centered. No Centered screwing exhaust. around on oh, that yeah. thing. Oh, there here comes your favorite, Carrera T. I do like those. Yeah, you that's do. my new little favorite. That's your, that's your boy. Yeah. Good whistling. Yeah. He's doing it right. Straight center piped locks? it. I don't know that I've seen center locks. No, and, but it uh, sounds PCCB. tough, though, doesn't oh, it? Yeah. Listen to that thing. That thing sounds... Oh, I bet you that's a soul Ooh. exhaust. It looks, that's what it looks like in here. What's that? It looks like it's a soul performance. Yeah, it's Cerakoted. It sounds really, really oh, good. Man, man get that be. out of here, man, because I'm going to... like <laughs> That really screwing me up. I'm going to buy one of those now. Ooh. Give me some of that, man. I'm sure you guys can hear the whistling. That thing is... That thing's yeah. choice. I oh, love the way my. that sounds. He's that got sounds, the cage in it. Like yeah, he's I mean, he's killing it right now with he, that. If he wanted to get a turbo car, like not not a turbo turbo car, but that's yeah, you tune that. That's a 500 horsepower car. You put day. that on tune all day so. to the wheels. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I, I know. Yeah. Hey. Hey Drew. What's going on, man? How are you? Now, if we asked Drew to do a burnout, it happened. Okay, so we have an abortion showing up here. What? What happened? Have you ever seen that movie, um, Bachelor Party, with Tom Hanks oh, when they like destroy times. that Targa? With like, remember they like, they put flames on it and like oh, put okay. a tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? Like, like the rich guy's car, and they like yeah, go yeah. out there and like screw it all up. This is exactly <laughs> what this reminds me of. I mean, oh, we got we got we got issues, Mr. Navy Plate. Or is he just hanging out? I don't know. Man, that Carrera T. Oh man, that changed the game. I I mean, I liked it that before. Thing, that thing is going to resonate with me all day now because of that. I'm going to be thinking about that car all day. That whistle, man. Just just because of the you know, like you said, the straight piped yeah. whistling, like it you, sounds so good. You would think that's what Chad's car would sound like—a little bit more turbo with the way he's got the exhaust. Yeah. But that was definitely. Oh man. Oh yeah. That's there was hand, nothing. Hands in down. That. I think Chad. Well, I've. Chad doesn't have cats on his car. Like his car's totally straight, straight pipe, right? Yeah. yeah. His char his car does sound good too, but like, I don't know, man. That, that thing was just sounds level. so good. That was like it was almost like diesel truck, almost yeah. like where you just yeah. You're right, yeah. actually. Yeah, that that turbo diesel whistle. Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> you can still hear yeah, it. Yeah, still hear him. So, I mean, That's so good. to each their own with people's builds and stuff. But what happened, bro? I feel like somebody talked him into a lot of things he didn't need I have, to do. like, a really, like, mixed... I'm holding back a lot of really, I guess, I feel like derogatory it, comments <laughs> is the best way to describe what I, I could say. I feel, because I like it, it, I'm trying to be not that guy who's yeah. like, this is the only way. 
to do something like if i say it to you know that how to do it because that's not true there's so many different ways to do something cool but yeah. if something's cool it's cool but when it's not cool it's not cool let's just put it that way that's the best what pc way i can say it because i could totally is it, is it electric i don't there, know there's no exhaust bro maybe maybe it is electric there's there's no sound either it is it's 100 percent electric i think it's got it yeah, okay, that still doesn't get a pass. I mean, it's yeah, still... I mean, it's, it's still the worst. It's... Yeah. I mean... I don't know. It doesn't... Nope. I think I'd rather... As, as you can tell, that I think I'd rather hang sports. out with the guy with the bicycle on the 997 and came through here earlier <laughs> than that dude. I'm sure he'd be great. Well, I mean, um, yeah, I'm, that's, I'm, being, I'm being sarcastic because <laughs> I, know. I know he's probably an ass clown to hang out with, but this guy is probably way worse. Oh, man. I mean, can you imagine that? Like, what's that conversation go like? Oh, that's good. Yeah, how's, how's things? Good. Thinking about chroming my entire car. <laughs> what do you think about that? The wheels are already Do it, bro. Do it. <laughs> They're just not here yet. It's yeah. Already got a set chromed. Do it, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, the Carrera T is, like, I don't know, set the bar for me tonight, right now. I know, and it's a new, a modern car. No, I mean, it hasn't. There's some been a lot of badass cars. That Kramer car has come I mean, through. Yeah, yeah. Just sound-wise, I mean, that just, was pretty good sound on been, that thing, we kind of been, like, background talking about that car, and then I, I talked. We ran into it a, sounds so good. DC and I ran into a guy with um that he just he did the tune and everything. I think he was four, four, 480 to the wheels, something like that, with the, with the tune. 48? Four, four, or 480. Oh, 480 to the wheels. Yeah, with the with tune. The tune. Um, what else did he have done? Uh huh. Yeah, I was tuning a couple other things, but like yeah, exa- uh, yeah, it was exhaust work at the tune, but it did not sound like that car. Yeah, not at all. I mean, that guy was absolutely murdering it with that sound. Like his exhaust was like next level. That was the guy that I don't know if you saw it, uh, yesterday. Night. It was the the uh, acid green touches uh, on the. Car I didn't too. see the car. Okay. I wouldn't have done acid green just because he did. Uh, he had deviated red stitch or red everywhere in the car in the interior. Uh huh. The acid green didn't make sense to me. Ooh, what do you think about these rotiforms? Or not rotiforms? They're HREs. HREs. Excuse me. I was thinking. It's a big difference. Yeah, I know. That's the classic set. The, yeah. The, they look good. Yeah, they look good. Like sort of classic. Good wheels. 501s or whatever they are. So here's another, like, Carrera T in, like, Miami blue. How do you feel about that thing? I like the like, white one better. That's a hot. I can't. The white one modded. It's what we like. Yeah. I, I think that's what it is. Probably. Probably had something to do with it, I'm sure. I mean, it just looks like a normal Carrera. I, I don't... The Miami Blue doesn't do anything extra special for me because we've seen... That color's been so... No, I mean, I now. like the color. I mean, I, I just... I don't know. I mean, maybe because the other thing had, like, center locks and he went, went a different way with yeah, it. It looks, yeah. looks pretty dope, you know? It's like... It's one of those it's, things. It's, it's like, okay, that's cool. It's cool Carrera T. Yeah. It's Miami Blue. That's better than, better than you know, with your standard colors. Yeah. But besides that... Yeah. yeah, it's no center lock, PCCB, turbo whistling, Carrera T. This is not it. Bone stock with Savannah Beige and Carrera S. Couldn't even, couldn't even lower the car. That blue, that blue. If it's a, if doing it's a that turbo, car, no justice. Good. No, I don't think that's a turbo car. That's an if. That's why. I'm oh, it might be a turbo car. Yeah, it says yeah, turbo. It says it says it better it be. Clear, it clearly says it in script. Well, not clearly, but it's yeah. yeah. Like ghosted in there. Yeah, it that's looks cool. good. I think that's Minerva. Minerva. Okay. Yeah. Minerva blue. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like I like I like the car. It looks yeah. pretty. It's pretty badass. Like it's pretty clean, as far as that goes. Ooh, I don't know, but this is like the worst of. You know, I saw that car at Cars and Coffee the other yeah. day. Like it was like really, really like not. I. <laughs> Again, trying to not say negative things. I don't even know where you find those wheels. Like no. those are, things are ancient. Uh, oh yeah. Now I know where you find them. Those are TSWs. Oh. <laughs> I, know, I know where you find at them. At the salvage yard? No, you went. You went to like the, the junkyard. Like, any tire place. Yeah. And he picked that. You know that poster that's been there since the eighties. Yeah. He's like, I want those. The the ones those. the ones that have been sitting those. in the corner, yeah. Yeah, like at my, the discount tire place, when they're like. like Hey, I've been trying to sell these for the last uh, decade. Those are my jam, bro. And the guy's like, yeah. hey, my tax return's in. I'm ready to get <laughs> some like, wheels. I got th- I'm throwing down my 500 yeah. bucks. Let's get them. He's like, I'll cut you a deal right now. Tires Speaking and everything, $2,500. Speaking of Carrera T's, another Carrera T. Yeah. I'm liking the white yeah. so far. 
Yeah, I mean that's better. I think that's better than the blue. I don't like the Fuke, the the old style. Or yeah, I, those wheels look better. Those are the standard wheels yeah. that came with it. Yeah, you know what? The the Fuke wheels they. Both, and this one's like bone yeah. stock too, though. Like yeah. I, I don't know what it is. Like I, some people just don't want to mod shit. I, I mean, maybe they just don't know. Maybe if you don't. I mean, if they've never done it or they've well, it's good. Yeah, it's good enough. Can't get any better. Good enough type of deal. Yep. Came from the factory that way. It's the best <laughs> way to do it. No such thing as additional engineering. Exactly. Like we might want to. Take Why it. would you do that? You're going to ruin the car. Yeah, that's true. There's 12 inches of gap between the tire and the fender for a reason, guys. <laughs> so you can go over curb stops. So far, hey, that, I mean, that did treat me well for a while. <laughs> I was able to just drive over. The raccoons things. can run underneath the car, and you're not going to hit it. It's okay. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a home now. Yeah. Don't worry. Random boxes in the road. Don't worry. I can drive I over. It. it won't hit the car. I got it. It's just like yeah. just like Farah. Good to uh, go. It's for practicality, guys. <laughs> the That's what all those guys like. Those old ass guys say. Those like yeah. it's for practicality purposes. And it, the hilarious thing behind that is they say that shit, and they never drive their cars. <laughs> yeah. It's for uh, ca- practicality purposes. Uh, you daily that? No. Yeah. You, uh, cars and coffee? Uh, once. Once or twice. It's like what? So you can, like, roll your golf balls underneath it in the gar- <laughs> garage? Because it never leaves. Ridiculous. It, it goes right. to, like, some neighborhood cars and coffee event where you shine it down from your one-mile one drive across the road. Yeah. And we're back. We back. Short break. <laughs> so Hollywood time that was literally like sixty seconds. My time was sixty seconds. But you fast. guys probably thought it was a long know. time. It wasn't a long time. Was a lot of steel grade turbos, nine nine sixes. I think that was, was a that, launch was color. Was that like though. okay? That was their launch color. <laughs> I was like, man, I oh, so many. I think it was just kind of like a discounted like. They're like, look, we got a lot of this. <laughs> they just have, like, gallons of this seal yeah. gray. They're like, oh, bro, we got to get rid of this now. Can we buy this in bulk? And they're like, okay, 70% of the 996s are going to be in this color because we got a super good discount on it. Yeah, boy, that guy is really, he must have hit some, like, parking curbs and all Why was his wheels chewed up? I didn't see it. No, 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 his front bumper's, like, scratched in places. I didn't know you could get it scratched. Oh, well, the roads down here are pretty sketch, so yeah. to be fair to him, he's probably... He might have bought about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. Because I've, I've had to save the 964 a few times when I was like, oh, what is that? Like, I, I, the, ro- just, the road's like raised up for no reason. I mean, Mike's very, very, he's, he's great at, at reading roads. And when I, I know that I'm half asleep this morning and I'm yeah. just driving over things. And I'm just like, I'd feel it. I'm like, oh, if Mike drives like I just did, he's going to yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> They're just no, a, I'm, I'm good at yeah, it. Yeah. Like. I, if I can't see the road, I start. I just watch the geometry of the car in front of me, and I can tell exactly where I need to be at. <laughs> that looked like Aaron shit. Went over but it's that. low life. But You're used fun. to it. I've been driving cars that have been slammed for, like, over a decade. And once you – I mean, when you drive a car, not even the 964, when you had, like, my 63 Beetle yeah. was literally a quarter inch off the ground, like the bottom pan. Like, okay. you learn real fast – how to drive you're like all right there's a smashed flattened coke can in the road i'm gonna grab that <laughs> that's how low the car is <laughs> so you 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 figure out real fast what works and what doesn't so but yeah back to it wow yeah a gust of wind here that's definitely uh the breeze has picked up i just want to be a little careful with this thing so it doesn't blow off okay so you worried about the time no yeah just down. a second we're okay so rest of the weekend right so saturday what did we end up doing on Saturday? Tell us, Aaron. Uh, we did cars and coffee, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, I had to remember. How about lunch? Car- yeah, again. Oh, well, lunch didn't Big shout out day. to the collection. If you don't know about the collection in Miami, please check them out. Um, if they do any cars and coffee events, I'm sure they're all the same. Or yeah. Close to they them. always set the bar. Yeah. Um, it's impossible to go to any other cars and coffee event again D- because meet, of what they've done. We met Christy. Christy was, was she the uh, director? I don't know. I, she was some part of uh, the collection. I know she was help running it or managing it. Yeah. And she was so nice to us and really. Oh, she's the, the I think they're VP of marketing. VP, that's what it is. Yeah, VP, VP of marketing. marketing. Yeah. Jesus, she's, man, get her title right. I, 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 that's why I was asking. I wasn't, I apologize. But uh, she she uh, showed us the their holding uh, floor of cars for Ferraris and Maseratis. Yeah. 
That was pretty like, cool. Yeah, talk about some of the stuff you saw down there because I was actually, I went to lunch with the boys, I think, oh. when you did that. <laughs> she was, well, the entire time. So as she came up, we were looking, um, they are giving us a shop tour. There's a 918 fully, like, uh, doing its four four year service. Uh huh. And so that's like new spark plugs, coil packs, air filters, just standard stuff, a battery. They do, uh, they drain the battery water or coolant. Yeah. With some type of requirement. Uh, the service cost isn't too bad if you have a 918. It's like eight, 8800 bucks, So that's not terrible. So we were talking to her about not that, but he was. she was introduced to the shop foreman, and he was going on about that. She was like, hey, do you want to see the uh, what we st- where we store stuff? We don't normally take people down there, but we'll we'll show you what's up. And she's like, it's not it's not that nice. It's, it's okay. Well, I mean, she meant that is, it's not finished as far as not painted and stuff down there, but the cars okay. were unbelievable. Like, they're just... Stacks and stacks and stacks of frogs. Stacks on stacks. Yeah. The 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 that wasn't it wasn't so much Porsche stuff, but it, I mean it was pretty much any Ferrari that you could think of was just chilling down there. And then they had a lot of new stuff, all the new McLarens, all the new Aston Martins. It, it was just neat to see and how how big the building actually was. Yeah, I saw some there. cool photos you guys took. Right, what would yeah. you? What else did you guys see down there? Um, we saw some roof cars. Didn't you? That was actually at the shop, but we saw the nine nine seven roof in lime green and that's the way i describe it and then uh a 991 uh, also another roof it was in like mexico blue uh-huh those two are th- those stood out I-, I don't think i've ever seen a 997 and a 991 roof car ever yeah i've seen the there i think i've seen pictures of a 997 but i've never seen one in person yeah uh, the steering wheel is weird it's got that that signature roof thing where it's like a not really a triangle but it's yeah i know what you're talking yeah, about it's, it's odd thing and then uh the mexico blue and the nine at one i ugh. <laughs> <laughs> ugh. Like, they, like they took all the it was like this, don't only any punches because i'm not this morning so it was the um, i grab my sunglasses real yeah. fast keep talking so it was the mexico blue on the outside they took care of that on then in the interior and it, but it was like the stock 991 wheel and they just took the plastics on the instead of making it their own wheel they took all the plastics and it's all like shiny high gloss Mexico blue. It was just, and they kind of carried on that Mexico blue throughout the trip. It was just, it was overdone. I don't know why. I guess they feel like they really needed to up the interior level and high. Mexico blue is, they didn't need any more. They could have stopped. Yeah. Like the uh, Mexico toys. blue monster threw up on the thing. Yeah. It's, it's just kind of like tech art. It's like all those makers. Sometimes when they get a car, they just try so hard to be, you know, their signature touches. Kind of like uh, what we talked about with uh, the. The, the Porsche guy who wears too much Porsche gear. Yeah, it's similar. Kind of like that. So he's just, just going too, too hard. He just doesn't, he, he doesn't, he, you don't need to do that. And you know who we're talking about. Those are those guys too. It's like sometimes you see, see a cool speed yellow car or whatever, and then it's speed yellow back, speed yellow seats, speed yellow inserts, speed yellow <laughs> stitching, speed yellow this, speed yellow that. And it's just like, oh my God, there's too much like, yellow here. You, you know what match really well? And you know, I should get the yeah. belts. You know, it would, it would match. You know, goes what, you know what goes good with speed yellow? Speed yellow. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, goes. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can get that in speed yellow. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can get that too. How about some oh, speed yellow gauges to go with your speed yellow I mean, exterior, interior? Prime example are are you're in West car, West's cars as far as like accent touches as, and how to do things. You guys execute that stuff super well. Just the little yeah. touches here and there. That's what people they should. Yeah, like They're we designed. talked. Remember, we talked. What yeah. we talked about the um, tartan and houndstooth yeah. when we first got to the track. When we saw yeah. a couple cars that like that are overdone. Mm-hmm. It's it's meant to be an accent. Like <laughs> you don't you don't take tartan and like throw it on the dashboard and then yeah. on the door cards That's and then the on the seats statement. and yeah, then yeah. on the back and then the back door cards. It's just you're like wow, <laughs> like. It's like seven lumberjack shirts in here. It's like t- way too much. It's I supposed th- to. I got thirty yards of tartan. What should yeah, I do? Yeah, it's that? supposed to just kind of. It's just trying to dull down the black a little bit. Just take a little highlights away. This little yeah. stuff. It's just kind of crazy what people just go over the top with certain things. It's like really, really like that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have anybody to stop them. <laughs> That's the problem. That they too. They need to get some better friends. And be like, bro, mm, nope. Yeah, or whoever's building the car is not going to say no because there's no, more mo- there's more money they're coming out, right? They they're like, oh, I got to touch all this stuff and charge you more money, and they just fleece the customer on it. So 100%. just go after them. But yeah, yeah, I think we we love the collection and we love what they do, and they we love that they support this event. And yeah. I think we're going to try to get um, you know the owner of the collection on the show yeah, at some point because um, we frequent Miami because it's like our second home. But yeah, I mean, it's not far away. Yeah, I mean, 
why not come here, right? We have so many friends here. There's so many good cars here. The people are good here. The food is good here. It's outstanding. No, that's a good. I mean, so, I mean your experience on Saturday with food was, was a little bit better than mine. But <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel it sucks for you, but I, I don't feel bad about it. I mean, yeah. I guess you know. So what Aaron's talking about is we went to a staple. We went to Joe's. Um, Joe's Crab. That's all I heard about last night. Um, which they're known for their. They're known for I, their. I think we're okay. Okay. Well, it's getting close. Um, they're known for their stone crab. Yep. And if you're listening and you don't know what stone crab is, they're so served cold um, with honey mustard. Ooh. It's absolutely amazing. Um, it's next level stuff. Um, I've always had stone crab since I've been in Florida. And if you've never had it and you ever come to Florida, um, definitely need to get it. It's a treat. But they're known for that there. And, uh, you know, does it, it's like, does, oh. it, does it serve like in the, in the shell? Yeah, so, okay. it's cracked, served in the shell, mm-hmm. and you pull it out and you eat it. It's just the claws. Okay, oh, um, the good stuff. And the cool thing about stone crab, which maybe some people don't know, awesome. Somebody knows how to whistle. Cool. Yeah. Got uh, it. I don't have a mic on directly on my ears. Yeah. You know, headphones. I don't know why the people like feel the need to like hoot and holler and do shit like that. But anyways. Yeah. Anyhow, speaking of stone crab. Yeah. So next thing. <laughs> The thing about stone crab is pretty cool is Florida state law, um, how it works with them is they're pulled out of the water in the, in the cage. Um, and if you don't know, they break one of the claws off if it's within regulations and they throw them back in the ocean because it'll grow the other claw off that they broke off. So they continue to rotate the harvest. So every other year, the other claw gets broken off, but it grows back very quickly. It will grow back within a year or so. Um, so they leave it basically back in the water so it can fend for itself. Yeah. So it still has one claw to fight with. And that was mandated by the state a long time ago. And that's why the stone crab population does well. And, and the more you know. I didn't know. There you go. So you guys so. are also raving about this chicken. Oh, the fried chicken was like amazing. So it was like a compliment to the stone crab because crab's pretty light. You know, mm-hmm. it was pretty expensive as usual. These because it's it's a labor intensive harvest. It's yeah. not like you just bag them up out of a thing. You have to take each individual one out. You have to measure it. So there's a guy touching every single crab, breaking one cloth, and throwing the crab back in. So it's very very labor intensive. Yeah. So it's ex- it's an expensive eat. You know, it was a hundred dollar lunch per person, but it was worth it because it was a nice sit down. There was like 10 of us. We had the Zufin house guys here from California. We hung out with them. It was a nice drive down there. Like Andrew from, uh, nine yeah. 11 South was here. Yeah. We hung out, we had a good lunch with him, but Aaron, unfortunately, you know, he had some other obligations <laughs> so he couldn't make it. I got taco shop though, which I highly recommend if you're in Wynwood and you like tacos, taco shop is the way to go. There you go. California burrito. hundred yeah. percent. got the carne and soda fries. Don't do those two together. Cause it's way too much food. But yeah, it but, was uh, really, really good. Line so. was out the door. It was fa- was well, it? Yeah, we we initially like we we were, we smelled it like the block away. We're like, what's that? That smells that smells really good. Nope. This is place. a different look. How do you feel about this GT3 with these 1552 wheels? I I can't quite see it because the photographer. Okay. I haven't I haven't seen that setup on a GT3 yet with those wheels actually it looks pretty decent. Yeah. I, I mean, I've thought about that. I mean, that's one of the wheels that I've considered. That, that, that's well, then a good he, wheel. he must have had to like holler at Matt because they don't really cut those in five by one thirties. No, <laughs> no, that's not because the only I, the only thing I've seen him on talking been, to you, uh, Matt, if you're listening. But I'm not. I need on to get Matt's some, 996. Might need to get some wheel. Yeah, but he had him. He had him well, custom they, cut because you know, he's Matt. That looks really good. Yeah. So you think it's a real GT3? I hope so. <laughs> That's the question right now. I mean, it's I mean, very, very. It says convincing. 40 on his wing. Yeah. I mean, it's got a dealer tag. Yeah. I hope he's not faking the funk because that's a lot of fake. That's a lot. He's really going after it. Yeah, I really, really hope it's not. He's giving it a lot of engine noise. What do you think about this color combo? Uh, it's different. I kind of like it. I guess. I mean, it's loud. Yeah. I mean, I like chalk because that's a good color. <coughs> I don't think I've ever really seen it done that way. No. So that was lunch. Yeah, what did you end up doing while we were at lunch? Tell the people what you were doing. Uh, I was with uh, a couple of our friends. We went 
Bart decided he wanted to shoot my car, which I was kind of a little, eh, I didn't know because it, my car's not done. And so in my eyes, I'm like, eh. But if you get an opportunity with Bart, take the opportunity to. Yeah, you got to do it. To get in the book. If he offers if you he's to gonna be offer. in it. If he offers you to be in the book, you got to do it. So uh, we went out to, we never go to. A, yeah, so spoiler alert, Aaron and I, will bo- both of our cars will be in that six. book. Will be yeah. in volume six. Bart Gukins. Yeah, we went to Gherkins. We went, I sorry, Gherkins. I keep saying it's, it's like Ger, uh, you know Gherkins, like the yeah, yeah. Pickling. Yeah, that's the same. I keep saying that's his name incorrectly because it's throwing me off because there's not a damn R in it. No, there's not. You just want to imagine there is. We so we were driving around and I, I guess Bart didn't know and I didn't know there was some type of giant event happening. So I had to make like, my way to my the, name's Jennifer, spelled with a Y. <laughs> what? I'm unique. Yeah, Jennifer. <laughs> and. So if I, I, we finally make it, and I, and I parked in the parking garage because there's no space down in Wynwood in the middle of the day. And uh-huh. he was like, well, just meet me. I got all the way to the end, and I'm about to exit, and I see Bart. And he's like, oh, we can do it in the parking garage. So I'm ba- I backed all the way up, back up to the top of the, the first floor, swung around, and then we went up a few flights and did it. We did it there. We did it in the parking garage, not around any graffiti or anything. So uh-huh. it's got some cool outlooks, like the – you'll see like a – I don't know what the, all the pictures will look like. It's pretty sweet. Um, but where you can see Miami, like the skyline yeah. from there, that was a cool part. Uh, we did get kicked out because they didn't like us loitering, apparently. Yeah. But uh, then uh, our buddy. Where's your film permits? <laughs> well, actually, yeah, she didn't get say out. that. You make I mean, like ten bucks well, an hour. I mean, se- it was a seventeen dollar park <laughs> parking right? charge. I was like, I don't Should understand. Should have been able to do whatever you wanted in there. That was the other thing too. I, it says five dollars in sign. That was all eyes. Um. Yeah. So uh, we did that, and then we had our. our we shot from, a couple of Florida guy. Yeah, Carter Mike right and uh, Dave. But yeah, uh, cool. I was a couple other guys, and yeah, it was a good time. I, I, it was actually it was longer. Like I know Bart, uh, Bart was always saying, you know, I'm really quick, and yeah, I, I still think my definition of quick and his definition of quick. Uh, he shot my car quick. Close. I'll tell you, I'm not even kidding. He shot my car in ten minutes at, at the track. I don't know. I, I, I felt like I did. You move your car a lot or no? Twice. That was it. I moved it like five times. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was probably because the parking garage sucked. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's the lighting and stuff. That's what I mean. Like yeah. I was in the paddock at the track, so it was like the lighting was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, good lighting. And it, I, and I think he already knew what he wanted to do. Like I got really lucky just because I was at the track <laughs> yeah, when he shot thinking, my car. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, man, Mike was so at the right. That was the right time to. Yeah, because on Friday he shot my car at the track. Which I love because my oh, car's yeah, motorsport, so it's it worked out perfect. So the track is in the background when he's yeah. shooting the car, and I'm like, this is gonna go so good together yeah. with that car in the cage and all. It's and it being on track. I'm like, yeah, the red's really gonna pop in black and white. Yeah, really dark, dark gray. <laughs> no, fact, but I mean the background and everything, yeah. and just the way he shot it, and then he shot some through the fence yeah, into was, the paddock. He was doing some cool stuff, like where I was standing. Yeah. It's gonna come out so so good, and I'm shot. I'm so pumped that it was. It happened. My car got shot at the track just because yeah. we're so motorsport That's driven. Cool. Where I'm like, yes, this is where this belongs. The, Th- uh, this photo shoot at the track, I'm so excited. One one thing that I think is gonna look kind of cool is he did. Uh, you know, like those little yellow stand, like uh, yellow pillars or stanchions or whatever you call them, in front of elevators. Uh huh. So we parked my car in front of that, and he got in the elevator and was shooting out from the elevator past the stanchions to the car, and, and, and then yeah. and then behind it's the Miami skyline. Okay. It'll. I think that's gonna look pretty cool. Cool. Here he comes. Wes. Wes. One of it's the best 993 builds. Yeah, clean, we know about. clean, narrow body, Ruby Star interior. <laughs> we, we totally skipped the two speedsters. Like, well, whatever, West is coming up. Yeah. Well, I mean, those cars just are just playing. bought. They didn't do anything with yeah. them. They didn't mod it. They didn't build it. Look at that guy. Sexy guy. There it is. But, yeah, his car looks good. Always does. All those builds are good. Very clean. I was See, that's, that's oh, how yeah. you build a car, guys. Tastefully. Yeah. It's probably because it's the sister version of my 993. I'm a 964, <laughs> and like those two, yep. like it's got Ruby Star. I have Maritime. Those accents, they all go together. Yep. And he's got mint on his GT3. So. Yeah. So it's running it's, all the colors. It's one of those things. It's kind of signature touches. How do you feel about this 993 that's coming with this like? I'm trying to stop staring at it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the the rear quarter <laughs> like, section because bro, I have never ever seen that in my entire life. I mean, it definitely it's got to be a scoop. 
for a turbo. I, I'm really hoping it's a turbo. GT2, hopefully, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks just like an R8. Is that, like a, like. is that like a Gambala kit or something that they made uh, in the 90s for that thing? Because, I, I mean, I've seen a lot of things, and I've never seen No, that. it is a turbo, so it's getting extra air. But I've but just, no, but it's that. what is that, though? I've never seen that before. No. And I've and seen it looks a good. gazillion it looks fitted. 911s. It actually looks fitted proper, too. I don't know. I'm just saying it's strange. Uh, I've yeah. just never seen that no, ever in my entire it life. It can't be a Gambala kit. It's not crazy enough. Like that, that's not wild enough. That, that seemed to almost clean stock 996. Yeah. No, he's got exhaust at okay. least. X51 okay. arrow kit on that thing. Oh, what are your, what are your opinions on 968s? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would like to believe that you you shared the same passion I share for 914s. 968. I don't even know what to say about that thing. Is that I even a Porsche? Um, <laughs> well, it's got a badge. Oh. People put M badges on their BMWs that aren't M's. Does it make that an M? I I mean no. I mean I don't I don't really know. I think I feel like they just made that car because they had like leftover stuff or something. I don't know what that thing was. No, I I think the original thing they they were actually going to replace the 911 with that. Yeah, I know. But I I don't. I don't think I don't I mean, think I, got that right at all. I don't have some like horrid dysfunctional taste for it, but I just I don't get it. Like I I don't like them. This is clean. No, it's pretty clean. Even that's a cab. Yeah, I don't really care for that um, 968. We should have started our dope or nope, but we're gonna do that later. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we could do some dope or nope. You know, you guys could probably figure out what that means. I mean, I don't have to explain oh, that to you, and if I do. Yeah, that's clean. What's that? Yeah, 911R is pretty yeah. dope. Very stealthy. <laughs> that's a dope. <laughs> <laughs> dope. That's how that works. Oh, he's got black stripes. I was trying to see if yeah. it was stripes. I couldn't tell. Good spec on that oh, car. yeah, that's... Really good spec. Yeah. So, you know the interesting thing about the 968? I like the coupe way better. Like, I don't even know why they made that thing in the convertible. I really don't know. Yeah, Like, I what, agree. what they were doing with that. Just because they yeah. had an iPhone 4 convertible, for a reason. You know, you know, you know. Honestly, they make that crap. I think for us because they think the Americans want this stuff. I maybe. I, I They're don't. not making it for them. <laughs> no, no. The Germans aren't making that crap for them. No. Who are they making it for? Southern what? California. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, that, that's their only. Dar their demographic is SoCal. Yeah, I mean, I, for convertibles or Targas. Yeah, I, guess. I mean, but the, I mean, they, that that was the highest sales area for a long time. So, I mean, you could be right on that. Could be some truth. Yeah. What do you, what do you think about this guy in this RS America with his Burmos like stripes? I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. I like that it's an RSA. Yeah. Plus one. So. Does he have red seats or is it covers? Uh, that looks like his chair that wow. he's going to sit in later. Wow. That's yeah, what that I'm looks like. Way off. It's all good. Yeah, that's definitely sitting apparatus for later. <laughs> right next to his car. Just in case you didn't know, though, it says 911 RSA on his license plate. So No, I think that's 9II. <laughs> no, I know that, but I, I know what he's going for. <laughs> Got that. So it says RS America on the deck lid, uh -huh. and then it says 911 RSA on it, too. You think this is a Tampa car with a Tampa Bay plate? The 993? I don't think it is. Like I remember, That guy parked next to me last year. He's yeah. actually a pretty nice guy. Um, I forget his name, but it's a pretty clean car, actually, yeah. for what it is. I mean, but I don't think it's it's a Miami car. Okay. Yeah, he lives down here, pretty sure. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to look over, like, since I parked so early, like, just making sure that my car's in the right spot. Uh, I I didn't yeah, know. I well, couldn't remember which not, way I was. not being asked to move, so I'm good. That, that's the other thing. I was I, I couldn't remember which direction if I was facing in or out toward the street. I, re, I just remember because I'm and I parked there. I was like, oh, this is a really good spot. I, I remember DC kept talking about Mr. Smoothie or Doctor Smooth or whatever, and mm -hmm. I knew I, we were right across from that, and the Starbucks was right down the street. So. Okay. And I don't think I was going to make a move. So that's the other thing. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're totally yeah. in the wrong section, you're going to have to move. But I think 
at least I know I got it. I didn't see where you went, but if you're in the section, I think you're good to go. I should be in the section. How do you feel about those wheels on that? Um, That's one of my favorite. The Carrera wheels. S, mm-hmm. like those. I like those. Those that, almost are like a BBS S style wheel. Yeah, I mean, they are BBS <laughs> wheels, <laughs> say, well, but they're BBS for Porsche, yeah. obviously. But and I, they did the, uh, the the little CHR, the the, the polished lip uh-huh. style. I like that. Yeah, those are pretty cool. I think if you're gonna get it, if you're gonna get a stock, if you're gonna stay with stock wheels, you you could probably do that uh-huh. with those and be fine. I think every I think everybody that has those turbos. Like all the new 9 car, dot two cars, mm-hmm. they need to have straight exhaust and a tune, and they need a whistle. Carrera T has done that. I agree. Now this, that's not bad looking at 924. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks. looks is it? I don't know if it is. I can't tell. I can't 944 tell. 944 maybe. It could be. The Defender Well doesn't look as. I mean, it's like a good daily beater. Yeah. I guess is the way I would treat that thing. Yeah, it does. Look- I mean, I know that sounds kind of snobbish, but yeah. that's... Oh, we're 944. Yeah. I just couldn't tell. I mean, that's kind of like I would drive that to the gym and then... <laughs> and then not Just so it. you're driving a Porsche. And then Uber back. Yeah. <laughs> because that's the last and time. And then leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> God, we're assholes, aren't we? No, I mean, I have their place. I, You know, I oh, I think it'd be good for daily duty. You think he's, you think he's still building or you think he's done? I think he's trying to go to... He's trying to be Mangus, and he's not. <laughs> Mango, get it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to get... Somebody, that's going to get back to him somehow. Mangus. Uh, well, GT3's out. Today. I love Mangus. I think he's awesome. Yeah, he's good. I'm not talking trash. Uh, that's not from us, by the way. Some no. uh, Mark Rabanek told us some girl <laughs> called him Magnus Walker Mangus. <laughs> I think it's hilarious. That's the background behind that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think it was an intentional thing. I don't I mean, mean it, and I don't mean it derogatory. I think no, it's, no, no. I think it's just comical that how could anybody? What? Whose name is Mangus? Well, no, no. I, I, it was. Um, she wasn't from the U.S. She was, no, I know, yeah, but still, yeah. she just couldn't pronounce correctly. I, yeah, some things. It's still not a pass. <laughs> it's still hilarious. Hey, when we're in France, they're rude to us and make us speak French, so. It's true. You're you're in America. Speak some damn America. <laughs> speak some America. I need somebody who can speak some America up in here. Yeah. Let me get my bald eagle translator. Yeah. Nope. You don't drink Bud Heavies, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Didn't we? Oh, Rob was enlightening us about the Stella Artois. Oh, yeah, it's toilet water <laughs> overseas. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's called that. It's a pretty healthy sounding G3. So that so the busted ass like long hood that he yeah. has to put rat in the back window just oh, to just, like just let people case, know it's that all, it's like we know just it's busted, in case bro. you weren't sure it was a rat rod because the fenders are missing. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Two seven seven tribute. We get it, bro. Like you care you're all about driving. You don't care how it looks, bro. Here, here we said, get it. A two seven seven tribute car. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> in the works. Not even close. That 277 is way too nice. Even yeah. it, even as, dr- as driven as it is. It, it's great. It has freaking amazing patina on it. Yeah. Uh, here's an example of what to do, and here's an example of what not to do. Yeah. The 993 in front is... I, 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 when we pointed out, when you pointed out the 993, the C2, at the wall grace... I didn't have a clue that they, they were that high off, like, as far as right now. Yeah, height. awful, right? Yeah, I didn't know. I guess because we've been around so many cars that are, that are modded. I Probably I'd... made me want to throw up. <laughs> Ooh, those wheels are looking right on that turbo. Like, coming out the 9 3 mm-hmm. Yeah, you can distract him. Some good stuff out there. Some well, I, was thinking, I was just thinking that we probably need to go get our shirts. I mean, they have gift bags, right? I mean, do you think they're going to run out? Maybe. <laughs> oh. Why didn't we? Oh, so no, they didn't Because we haven't us. checked in yet. Yeah. We technically checked in, but we didn't check in. All right. So do you want to, like, take a break after this? Yeah, we'll be back. <laughs> this, the, after this 993 right here? We're, t- we're taking a second break, and we'll be back. Hey, this is yeah. a long podcast. That's how it's going. Yeah, it is. So I like Dude, this I want, turbo. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what I said. HREs oh, on yeah. it. Those look dope. So it's hidden hardware, three-piece wheels. Like that car is killing the game right now. So if I did, so so if I got, so if I did something similar to that color wheel, I mean, I have yeah. a black car. That's 
that's probably what I would be looking at doing for Are colors. you going to put HREs in your car? Uh, probably BBS LMRs. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm really, that's that's probably going to be the move. It's the move? That is the move. All right. I mean, those wheels, actually, I, I might do. I mean, that style wheel with the hidden hardware looks good, too. So he's on his way up. Yeah. I liked, I actually looked at the, the Boston wheels that Eddie had on his turbo. Yeah, those were pretty good. I just think they're a little Miami. I mean, if I lived here, obviously. But. So I think what we could do is just jump this fence. Yeah. And go and go grab our bag and come back. Okay. After after this oh, thing. Oh, man, this thing is. This beautiful, oh. oh, he's got Brembo's on it, too. Oh, this thing is good stuff. Yeah. Is that is that a gold polished lip? Yeah. So, yeah. so this is definitely a dope. Oh, definitely dope. It's, it's, it's like five dopes out of five. <laughs> See, it's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard to make a car look good. And like the right height is proper. A, a little bit of flavor. Look at that. He's got, like, he's got the yellow got seat the belts. yellow belts. Look at that. Matching yeah, the good. Brembo's. Absolutely crushing right now. All fire. See? So many fire emojis. Yeah. Super hot sauce on that car right now. Yeah, like that exhaust, too. Like lava hot sauce. Oh, he's a, does he have like... What is that plate? He's got a black Florida plate. I don't know if that's a Florida plate. It says Florida on it. I don't understand. I've well, I think that's a Bucks thing that he put a Porsche crest over. Oh, well, sticker. it's got four zeros, five zeros. Which is dope. <laughs> Anyways, it, yeah. let's take a break. All right, that's it. All right, we're going. Okay, so quick Whoa. update. The coolest, baddest chick here. Is driving a 997 GT2 oh, RS. That, oh, that is. She's probably married. Oh. <laughs> but if she well, is, Mike, but well, if Mike. she isn't, what's up, girl? You, you need a GT2 RS. Girl. What's up, girl? It's in white too. Yep, she's doing it right. I love you. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's it's a girl from Curated. <laughs> We met. We met her yeah, at Walt Grace. We did. <laughs> yeah. And then look at them too. Nine nine seven cab. The this. ladies are rolling strong right now. Rolling better than a lot of these dudes. Out here. Nice. I like it. Very very cool. Good for them. Hey, South Florida ladies coming strong. Killing it. So my future ex-wife was in the GT2 RS. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man. I'm lost for words now. She's gonna come. Oh, by the way, we're back. Yeah. And I've been married and divorced already with her. I don't know. I know she probably doesn't want. She doesn't want me, but I definitely want her. Like the magic of Hollywood, and we're back. I mean, she could be probably a bear to deal with, and I would just deal with it just because she has a GT2 RS. She's gonna come by and say hi to us. She's like, oh yeah, hi guys. She's like, I heard about you. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think we should go there. No. But hey. Oh. What a girl! Oh man! Oh, so the Alistair, ladies, man. yeah. So the the chick in the SC, yeah. Like I said, she was doing good. Yeah. But GT2 RS 997 girl leveled up. Literally just defecated on all of them. Like it was just like, what's up? <laughs> no big deal. And all the men too, by the way, because she's rocking a 997 GT2 RS. Nothing. Get out of here! It's beautiful. And she's rolling solo. Maybe I can ride shotgun. Ah, uh, maybe. May not. Yeah, it may not have been so curious. I don't have an ego problem. Like I could be with a chick that has a way faster, better car than me. No, it wouldn't last long. It would, you would have it faster. That's just you. Oh, I would tune her car. You're saying? Uh, you would. You would either make it faster, or you would be faster than that car. Like you, there's no. There's no way you could let somebody be faster than you. Uh, yeah. It depends. I mean, if she's if she's my woman, I don't have I a problem with bad. that. Yeah, yeah. If it's like you and me, definitely not. No, that's not happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if exactly. we're if it's like a bro thing, no, that's not happening. Like I can't just let that happen. Like I'm gonna one up a bro, but if this it's is, if it's my woman, I don't have a problem with it yeah. because I'm not one of those guys that has to be like dominate the situation at all times. I'm not one of those like oh I gotta. She's got a faster car than me. I'm not cool. I'm like dude, I brag yeah. about that. I was like dude, her car <laughs> whips my car's ass. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty. I was new. like, but guess what? I get to drive it. I've never seen this done before. Have you seen this? Silver on martini livery. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty popular. I've seen it a couple times. A lot of guys in Euro are doing that on their silver uh, GT3s. Yeah. It looks pretty good. I was being sarcastic. But... Oh. 
Meh. I, I mean, GT3. I wasn't picking it. up your sarcasm. That's okay. You don't usually. Lay went to it. Cornell. You, don't, you don't lay it down that well. Maybe he just puts a Cornell tag on it. <laughs> He's like so Andy like, from the office. I went to Cornell. <laughs> Cornell dad. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sweet bro. Sick. <laughs> it's like all other things. Like, oh yeah. Oh, sweet. You didn't really go, did you? Mm. Yeah. I partied there once. <laughs> Bought the tag. <laughs> How do you think it got this? Yeah. Amazon. Yeah. Hilarious. Here comes uh, another 914. I feel like the staging... I. This year, I think it was like it's um, had more controlled. Like it's only like five, six cars. Maybe it was this way last time. Going faster, or I felt like it's a little slower. Like it's paced out a little bit more. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. But we didn't stand here and watch all the cars last year. So yeah, we, I remember we, we were really actually know. like after we parked, we kind of ran around and just did our own thing. Yeah. And but yeah, so now you know now that we're front rows to the dog and pony show out here up front. <laughs> and by the way. All of you that are watching or listening, because it'll be after the show and didn't make it, I'm sorry for you. We told you guys in advance. This we weather. told you so many things that you should be here. And unfortunately, for the poor souls that didn't make it, you missed a hell of a week. Yeah. Not even just this Sunday. You should have come down Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Been here days. for the, both of the track days. You know, track days and are great. That the track Saturday. Is you really did. I mean, great. I've... And I've said it many, many times. There is not a larger there's not a larger gathering of yeah. Porsches in general no. at any other event other than Ren Sport. Yeah. And I, I mean anywhere. Like I'm I'm not not even just saying like, oh, okay, you know, Luft Colt usually brings like three hundred cars or something like that. There's gonna be like almost seven hundred car seven hundred Porsches here today. Yeah. Oh wow, that that, that nine fourteen is French tags. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And just lady driven. Uh huh. He's coming strong. But, yeah, you you guys really are missing yeah. out, so I just want to touch on that again. And if this isn't on your agenda, like, to put this – the people come all over the world and fly into this yeah. event. And, you know, there's plenty of people that are in other locations that are within driving distance that are kind of like, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to make it. So you're probably in some portion of the country listening to this freezing your ass off, <laughs> wondering why you didn't come down the to sunny, today, breezy, beautiful, beautiful. Miami – Looking at the beautiful scenery of cars and people, yeah, and just this lovely event that's hosted and all the effort that's gone into it. Meanwhile, you're like what, sitting at home freezing your ass off at whatever part of the country you live in. You're like, oh, I got errands to run this weekend. Really, bro? You have <laughs> errands to run this weekend. That's why you didn't freaking. That's why you didn't come to DRT. Yeah, if you if you even think time to turn in your man card, man. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, this event is where it's at. If you're a Porsche fan. Yeah. Barring getting fired from work or some medical emergency, there's no reason for yeah. you not to be here other than pure laziness. Because you're really doing yourself a disservice. It's not even just trying to pump the event because Alvaro's not paying us to say this stuff. We just enjoy <laughs> yeah. the event. Like it, it's you're you're just not part of the community. You're hurting yourself. It's too far. I don't want to drive my car clean. eight hours. It's a clean nine three setup. Yeah, it looks good. Looks aggressive. Yeah, it looks. You know what? It looks similar to Les's. Like CCW's. actually, you're right. It looks. It looks. Yeah, like, kind of. It's like just silver and yeah. kind of a little bit muted. Good call. Yeah. But yeah, what a wonderful event! What a great venue. It's a nice breeze out here. Going. Yeah. It's going to be an awesome day. I'm so excited for today and just being able to talk with everybody that's here. And it's this is the part of the fun. You know, we talked yeah. about this before. The car thing's fun. It's cool to see the cars. But it's even better to see the people and have the conversations with the folks. So it's awesome. So. Oh. Okay. That moved. Yeah, I got it tied in right there, though. Okay. So we're okay. So, yeah, it's it's one of those things where, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. The weather's good. nice. We got front row seat. Yeah, it's wind, too. That's good. It's like the Westminster dog show thing going on. The Westminster dog show. Yeah. Well, well this one. Another 997. Good choice in wheels. Ride height's a little off. Well, CHRs do not. Uh, that For that car, it's weird to me. Yeah. Uh, it's just not a wheel. I mean, if you want to get a, 
an all day wheel for that car, HRE FFO ones. Yeah. That that wheel always looks good. Yeah. I mean, the, what is that agate gray on that car or something, or is that like a? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I don't know. It's not my car. I don't care. <laughs> Black. I like this Carrera here. The yeah, ducktail looks pretty yeah, good. with the green. It's like the, a forest green metallic, I think. Or oak green, whatever. What, that's the popular car these days right now, is the, or the color. Yeah, oak green metallic, oak I think green is metallic. what it is. Yeah, metallic. It's got flake in it. Everybody's going there. I mean, just because we got to talk trash about things, because that's how we are. I think okay. he ruined it with a Sirius XM thing on the top, though. What is that? Why is he like a ducktail on it's, top? And a that's ducktail? called a mistake. I don't know what... Yeah, no, it did not need to happen. What about uh, yellow caliper choice over there? He's not. We know he's not running PCCPs. I don't mind that kind of little touches. Like okay. the, they're like little stuff like that. But I feel like he kind of screwed that up. Like, like, and where he screwed that up with that. Like, why? I mean, maybe he didn't do that. I was thinking because that's a paper plate. It's Tim tagged. But maybe. I still wouldn't have bought that car because of that. Like, I like those yeah. little like bugaboos for me. Like, I cannot do that shit like yeah that's weird like there was a sick 997 turbo for sale i think in like seattle yeah and i think it was oak green metallic it was even a special color it had pcbs mm -hmm. on it it was it was fire and then it had one of those stupid ass serious like antennas on the like in it like on the center you know what i'm talking about yeah, where yeah. it looks like a remote control yeah. car mm -hmm. totally fucking ruined the car <laughs> Game over. Oh, that is? That's a... Uh, I might as well burn the damn thing to the ground for you me. You talk about the 997 color, agate gray. Does agate gray have a blue in it? Yeah. Okay, that's that's probably agate gray. Yeah. I'd go with that. But, like, totally ruin the car. Yeah. I don't understand the GPS things. Or the I just don't understand why people have to have, like, really, like, you have to have that shit that badly? Yeah. Like, if, if, if the, the choices are it's drilled into the car because I have to like plumb through that and have Sirius XM or not I just don't would, have it I mean there's would you as a, a, a semi-intelligent <laughs> person would say no I'll just pass then but there's there's so many other options like Spotify there's so many other things you can do besides you know, even Sirius. pre that stuff I mean even yeah. because those are, we're talking 997 yeah, so, so it's like yeah. even if it was pre that I would just okay I just won't have it but the um, but the 997.2 is like the little thing on the top uh -huh. that's, that's a thing that's, yeah, I know. Like, I mean, but I'm saying even pre like where Pandora, where any of yeah, that yeah. stuff was super popular, all that streaming stuff, like yeah. just listen to the radio, just deal with it. Turn the radio, turn, 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 turn it off, turn the damn thing off. Yeah, listen to the exhaust. Even if it is your daily drive, like oh, I gotta listen to uh, C-SPAN on my way to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get my Bloomberg report on MSNBC. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Stocks going down. That's that yeah. stocks going up. NPR. I got to get my. M that's what I was looking for. Oh, okay. It took me a second to get. You got to get the you, NPR. I thought you might be a Howard Stern fan. I got to get my NPR on. That Miami plate's very popular down here. It's a pretty cool plate. I, I mean, when I saw it the other day for the first time, I thought it was pretty badass. Well, that's Phil's turbo. I hope. I don't know. PHL, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like loading slow. I don't know. Oh, I did park in the right place, by the way. Oh, Just yeah. Let you know. Well, you I mean, it better. was pretty stacked up earlier. It looks like, I mean, I don't know where all the check-in, I guess cars are still checking in is yeah, what's I happening. So. I think the check-in's backing up, too, because there's... Yeah. I think they're, well, I think they're just doing it five at a time. Or is six that at what's a time. going on? Yeah, it, looks, no. it seems like it. I mean, I'm sure they're probably wrapped around the block because there's so many cars coming in here. We we have, we've only seen West come in. Like, our, our, our guys are sleeping, huh? Other well, friends. what I mean, uh, Kevin and Chad came through, but they oh, parked yeah. over there. Like, they want to be able to leave earlier, so that's why uh, okay. they didn't actually, like, come in, come in. Nice. So, this is one of those deals, I guess. That's why they did it. <laughs> yeah. We're in it for the long haul. Yeah, we're here for a couple of days. Speaking of which, we're going to have to talk to offline to the RMC guys about what time we're going to go there and what cars we're going to do tomorrow and all that kind of stuff. So, there's, so there's gonna, somewhat of a game plan. Keep reviewing the same RWB. Yeah. <laughs> Over and over again. <laughs> you really guess what, guys? Back in the Need for Speed RWB. <laughs> Never seen this before, have you? Brand new. Fire. Done. Fire emoji. <laughs> Fire emoji. Heart. Heart emoji. Uh, heart emoji. <laughs> so some, let's talk about why we have a lull while we're waiting for our next float to come through. <laughs> yeah. Snoopy's coming on down. Yeah. 
Um, what were some of your highlights so far? Obviously, we have today to go, but like mm-hmm. up until this point, what are some things that kind of resonated with you? I like the track day. I mean, we didn't get to do the track day last year. Mm-hmm. Or we just didn't go or didn't know or however you want to say it. Um, but I think I, I didn't. I, first time I, I would my, agree with you. I'm thankful that we did that. And obviously because we ran the cars on the mm-hmm. track and I had a really, really hard session and I was really, really into it. I, I think we yeah. met some good people there that we, we might not have known. Um, there we go. Somebody's got some turbo noises. Um, I think the yeah. um, it was a different level of person we met there. I mean, like we met Chris there, the guy uh-huh. with the Voodoo Blue G3. Yeah. And and some other people. And it, it was just, like it more was just, more bro bonding. Yeah, I, it was just a different style. It was still just as nice. The food was amazing. The, I don't know, it amazing. The food was great. Yeah. And I mean, it was nice that there was food yeah, there. I mean, it was like it wasn't just right? normal. It wasn't just like fries and hot dogs. Porsche RS. How about that? Oh huh? yeah. It's an interesting little badge you put yeah. on there, pal. I saw him flying by. You didn't have to do that. Yeah. Um, Car was cool until you did I that. Remember. I mean, it was it was actually it was really good food. It wasn't just you know they yeah could, they exactly chinsed out on it and yeah. um, it was had an espresso machine. They had a full simulator just and they had a lounge area. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the the track obviously itself, well done like they usually do. But like, the track itself, I'd never been to Homestead and Homestead was just fun. It's just it's just a great track. Yeah. I mean the the tight turns everything always seems like it's almost every turns got a little bit of a bank to it. Nothing's really yeah. flat, and then they obviously the banking on the outsides. Yeah, made it fun. And then when you have good and good leads, if you're doing lead and follow, then it makes it a, a, an even better time. Yeah, I enjoyed the track as well. I think that was definitely a highlight, and getting to stuff. It was my favorite, actually. Getting to hang out. I mean, and obviously, the, yeah, I was going to follow that up with I, just the time spent with people is, I mean, not just the track itself, because there was a lot of intimate time just yeah. hanging out, having conversations. That was really cool about the track. I did miss and out then, on the safari thing, though. That's Yeah, yeah that we did. Number. We saw that happening. Like, they did. So, full disclosure, they were running the safari cars and the Baja cars on the muddy fill, which we saw footage of which looked totally awesome and insane and i'm super jelly that i you see the didn't drum, get to do that footage? yeah and i'm super jealous that i because we kind of took off because we were super tired and then we needed to go like clean cars and get our yep. get our life together basically back at the house <laughs> yeah, we did. and um but that was kind of happening at the track as well so i want to touch on that a little bit so it was a track event with obviously on the track and then yep. there was the safari event like happening there at the track um in the mud field around it were lee keen and the russell built car and the um <laughs> al even had his truck out there yeah it, it was just a, a great but yeah great like thing they were doing uh, they were doing and they rides. were getting after mm-hmm. it like full tilt sideways ripping yeah um amazing amazing thing and if you were here, you got to see it in person. You know, there's a lot of things that you guys missed if you didn't make it. And so it's pretty cool that you got to see them in action. Yeah. I mean, we kept seeing, we show up, we'd see them parked a lot of places, but then. Yeah, because you yeah. see these things and you wonder, you wonder like, oh, okay, is this, I'm sure it really gets after it. You see <laughs> videos on YouTube, but then when you see it in person or mm-hmm. you see them out there really going after it, you're like, this is really cool. Yeah. You know, like, this is really, like, purpose-built. This is this looks really, really fun, like that kind of stuff. Yep, so, exactly. So it's pretty amazing. So, oh. Did it not make special, it? Special delivery? Maybe. No, I mean, it's shined up, so. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, oh, the auto group, huh? Yeah, GT2. I like it. Oh, here we go. Some uh, Ford Stars. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't like that. You know, like I, even when they do the the newer GT3 RS with the yellow. Yeah. Like, not the yellow, but like whatever that I rim color. About, like, I, I just about don't the, like the, that. that. Like that accent touch. Because it, it would happen. Oh, was it on uh, axis wheels? Was that what yeah. was on back in the day? I just think it looks stupid. I don't like he, that. He did yellow his badge though. Too much. <laughs> Overboard. It's a little motorsport e-turbo. Yeah. 944. Yeah. Nice. You don't need to do the... Why does everybody think they got a pose or something? I don't know. <laughs> Just like that. Like that. I feel like they got to do something like Ricky Bobby. You got to do something with my hands. Well, that guy is a Ricky Bobby. You see that mullet, bro? <laughs> cool. You may be jealous yeah, of that P-car, P-car guy. P-car guy. Ain't got shit on him. That was... Because that was an OG mullet. That was... Yeah. <laughs> that thing's been growing since the 70s, son. <laughs> exactly. Is it? Yeah. Hold it down. Yeah. I, almost, I think I saw a pop collar. Yeah. 
that thing has its own name. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Guy so. behind us. Is oh, is that, the, is that the orange car? Yeah, with the alarm on it earlier. Oh. But okay. he's worried that somebody was going to steal it. Yeah, definitely taking it in there. Yeah, we got to show a display of sound and speed. Yeah, it's definitely going to. Somebody's ripping yeah, it out. Yeah, exactly. Hey, nice morning. Week. How are you? What's up, man? Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah. Chilling, dude. Yeah, man. We got Eddie's here. Say hi. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> My bad, I'll let you guys be No, no, you're yeah. good, man. That's tense going at any second. No, I got to tie it in. Good for you. Good for us. Also, yeah. little anchors. Oh, here we go. Oh, 36 TT, huh? Yeah, I don't like little stuff like that. No, you're, you either know or you don't know. Yeah. See, it's lot, it's laced in back here. Okay, huh? I believe you. Unless it's some like monster. I mean, it's actually, the car's pretty clean. Yeah, I like the OZs. I mean, minus minus that like like wonky little badge. Like yeah. Like I could have done without that. Like everything else would have been pretty dope. So what would you call? What would you call the? So uh, a mope. Maybe. A mope. <laughs> Maybe dope. <laughs> What'd you call this color here? I think that's sepia. Is it sepia? Yeah. I think that's a, the modern sepia. You test in nature. Hey, you took a strong wind. <laughs> yeah, it does look sepia. It looks good, though. I don't like those factory wheels, though, man. Like, they don't no, do those, anything for me. You know why? Because you don't like tech art wheels, and that's exactly what that looks oh, like. Oh, is that like what they are? I don't know if they are tech art, but they look exactly like that. Yeah. They, <laughs> somebody at Porsche was like, hey, I really like these. Let's make them. Yeah. Not into it. They're going to get out and stand and pose. Get your flex on. <laughs> oh. Hey, you that, uh, our American silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Still a good car. I know somebody who missed one of those. Yeah, polar silver rare car. <laughs> I'm sure he regrets it every day. Yeah. Oh, is that a euro? Mistakes uh, to be made. It's weird. I don't know that I ever noticed that. Like, it's got the euro plate, like, uh holder in the front it's just like a yeah it looks like a block off or yeah. something it does it makes it look weird because does it yeah it does look strange yeah i don't know uh, that's <coughs> not, i mean you wouldn't buy that car in europe because these guys waste. behind us with a noise situation man yeah they, they got no regard yeah, for like anybody dragging around his stanchion thing <laughs> hey, let me work on the car get your ass in the gym and pick that up douche <laughs> get a haircut too <laughs> Yeah. Oh, RS looks good. Like another uh, GT. Yeah, I think it's pretty tough, actually. Like, yeah. I like it. There Ooh. it is. <laughs> well, what you I'm concerned what? about is like you know I don't this want is? this thing to blow into the damn street. You know, bro. this is this is no, this is the uh, this is the exact reactions we had during Daytona, and with our tent. Fucking hell. Yeah. So let's take a break. We back? Never left. All right, back from break. Had a minor wind adjustment we had to fix there. Yeah, my challenge nature. Nature was there responding. Yeah, got a little bit of breeze. We're good to go now, though. Now it's gonna be dead breeze. Gonna be nothing. Yeah, it's fine. Even if it dies out, it's worth it. We're safe now. So what were we talking about? We don't remember. Uh, we talked about I get gray. We talked about. Oh, the, um, the accents of the, the yellow from the other car. Mm-hmm. Dope or nope. Dope or nope or mope. Yeah. Watching well. this GT2 getting loaded from the flatbed. <laughs> or at least it roaming around. Yeah. A little bit more. Now there's a lull. Yeah, there's a lull waiting for our next float to show up. I think I've seen Ethan like five times. <laughs> Ball headed guys with beards. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh is that oh no. Just kidding. Yeah, not him, just kidding. Oh, it is him. Just kidding. Yeah, so not a lot of action going on now. Mm mm. But a good weekend all in all. Like I said, there'll be some car reviews coming from hopefully RMC. What's the plan? Get some of that stuff knocked out. Well, while we have you, yep. there is the Farron Drive that's happening. Yeah, in April. 
Yeah, what are the dates on that? Uh, did you want? Are we releasing dates? I guess we need to. Yeah, we need to say the dates. Yeah. We just don't um, have to say the location. The sixteenth, sixteenth through the nineteenth. Yeah. Um, you need to be a PCAR club member to yep. join or to go. And then you'll get the email, and you the email. You'll get to your membership email, and I've been including it with your membership email. The uh, all the stuff, the links. Uh huh. She's leaving. Uh, all the links to the the sign up for the drive. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then once you sign up for the drive and you purchase it, then I'll see, and you get another email with follow up of like where we're staying, all that, all that, all the other details that you need. So. This is a strange situation going on. This tow truck's driven by several times. Yeah, I don't think he knows where he's going. Well, I think they've been trying to unload the car. For some reason, they can't unload the car. I don't know what the issue is. And now it's going. It's leaving again. I wonder if he. I wonder if he can't get down one of those streets. He's too wide. Maybe. Who knows what? So the car can't drive somewhere. Anyways, so what Aaron was saying. Yeah. Um, so back we, to Aaron. Yeah, we would love to have you guys um, out there on the. I'm surprised that's allowed. I hope that thing grenades. Race built, bro. Yeah. So let me days of driving. Jeez. Lots of lots of driving. Well, two full days of driving. Yeah. So the, the, the whole thing is you come in on that. Desperately trying to sell a car. On that, yeah, on that. Come in on All that right, Thursday night. All right, so we got some good stuff coming in. Yeah. Now, now finally, we got oh, the, Mr. The suburban. Purple. Mr. Yeah. <laughs> got him. And right Smile. now, we have a Chevy Suburban that's lost. Oh, yeah. He's trying to escape. Too bad he's not on bags like the uh the this RWB. RWB coming. Purple Monster. Yeah, it is. So it's, uh, I get there on Thursday night, drive Friday, Saturday, leave on Sunday. That's the game plan. That is the game plan. You just going to back it all the way in? No, I think he's trying to turn around. Race car coming in reverse gear? <laughs> I just got to push it. <laughs> just kidding. It's a pretty cool build. It is cool. Yeah, so back to what Aaron was saying. Yeah. So we, we put a drive together, and everybody want, is wanted to do a drive um from what we've been told we've have some people signed up um that are members you have to be a member to go and remember this is um a limited number of cars yeah we're 50 and because there's that, not 50 spots left i can tell you that yeah and it's set up that way because we want people to enjoy the drive we don't want a freaking you know accordion effect when we're all out there we're going to be releasing people out in groups so it's going to be a good drive. We're excited, and uh, we're going to start doing this at once a year to start with. And if there's more demand in different locations at some point, there may be more. Yeah. But uh, we'll start with one and see what you guys uh, bring to the table. And if see if you guys, you know, are typical Porsche people where <laughs> um, you guys say you want the naturally aspirated engine in a manual, and then you don't buy it, and Porsche makes it for you, and then yeah. they're stuck with the product. So we'll see. <laughs> This guy sounds like he's running some, some yeah. straight Yeah, sounds straight pretty pipes. good. Sounds very yeah. good. Turbo S. Yeah, matching. PTS color. Yeah, matching his calipers. With Golf blue. Color. Yeah. Definitely. Sounds good. It sounds a little bit like a lawnmower, but... Yeah. Oh, here we Not go. Not so good idling. But... Oh, coming so up, that's, this guy. Oh, yeah. But, yeah... Oh. I'm glad we tied it down. Oh, that's a Look at that, see? Special Forces knots. <laughs> not going anywhere. <laughs> They're special for That reason. thing's going to be married to that fence the rest of its life like, now. It's practically until welded. I untie it. <laughs> it's, it's practically welded. Exactly. <laughs> JB welded, essentially. There it is. So we have Ethan here in the, in the Carrera. Yeah. That's gar is it Garnet? I don't, I don't know if it I is or know. not. Maybe. Maybe not. It's, I always think it's driver, just like, Driver, bro. Melly Mel. There he is. I always Me think it's Mel. I it's always think it's Mel's color. Mr. Mel, Mr. AKA 2 a.m. AKA party don't start till yeah. 2 a.m. Yeah. Mr. Mac. Oh, that uh, was classy. He's fancy. He didn't even say hi. I think he's just blind. He's, he, he, he he doesn't, doesn't, he's not going. wearing his glasses. I think he's just, oh, yeah, this is what's happening right now. Yeah. Mm. 
people just cruising nonchalant. Yeah, there it is. No idea their surroundings. I bet there's the, where's the PCA sticker? It's got to be one. Yeah. It probably has a lifetime membership card. I'm probably. Sure. He accidentally turned down the street. Oh, my bad. Oh, KJ9, huh? Yeah. Oh, K-Dog played. <laughs> yeah, it's been more exciting in the cars. But wow, I'm, they're probably trying to... Oh, my God, it's DC. This is the GT3 RS we've oh, been talking about, guys. <laughs> oh, bring it. This is the one. If you're wa- if you're listening and you're you not watching, no, you, you go, better turn yeah. on them YouTube video you right turn, now. You go watch And you now. better sub because this is the this one. Is, this is it. Been the, this is the guy who's been getting harassed there nonstop. It is. There he is. He's great. Is that, is that a GT3? Rev it, bro. Get it. <laughs> Rev it, bro. <laughs> you heard that RS? Yeah. A GT3 RS, baby. I know this guy. Got that RS swag. Oh, that's... Such a good sport. Nothing love joy love the guy. Like but that. to be totally fair, like I said, his it's car is clean. clean. Love yeah. it. it. It's a good look, man. I mean, actually, if you need a page and you have a base Carrera yeah. and you want to do something clean that looks motorsporty, actually, DC's car is top candidate for that. Yeah. So take a page out of that book, stop it at whatever minute that was, and just replicate what he did. <laughs> Carbon copy. And hopefully you don't have friends as harsh as us that will razz your ass to death <laughs> about it. But in all seriousness, his car does look clean. I love the way his car looks, even yeah. even with the RS wing. You know, I, well, know, I know he gives a lot of we yeah. give him a lot of flack, but it looks good. And you know what? No one else has done those rotiform turbo fans. No, that I've and, seen and his car wears it very yeah. very well. And I'll tell you what: going down the road, his car looks great. Yeah, it really does. It looks tough. Yeah. Well, I, that happens when it's GT, GT3 RS. Yeah, well, front. that's what happens when you're with us. You don't you don't get to roll <laughs> something like some pansy stuff. Like you don't you don't get to just kind of have something kind of cool. Well, you gotta have like, to be something. You better come with it. I'm getting there, one year at a time. Yeah. Aaron's on the layaway plan. <laughs> I'll get there. So I didn't know you could park other places. And I thought you had to. So there's other parking outside of the. Uh, I'm sure there's street parking. Okay. I mean, just like random, like. Oh, okay. I don't think it's this parking. I think it's just, I think they parked out there, like they said, they so they can go home. Should have just went home anyways <laughs> now. <laughs> At least they came. Yeah. Didn't bail right away. It's true. I get it. I, that's why I tried to tell them. So, long story short, I know everybody had to work like in our group, but everybody's driving home after this event except Aaron and I, because um, we know better. Because yeah. last year, actually, we stayed till Monday, and we were able to convince our Tampa group to stay longer, and it was great. Oh, drive that home. Drive, that drive back. We was, took our time back. We actually got some rest on Sunday night because we were all yeah. smoked from the weekend. Well, guess what? They're going to be even more smoked because now I, they're going to have to drive three and a half, four hours home after this event all day long. I'm sure they're dreading it. I mean, I know the way I currently feel, and I don't think I could make the drive. I mean, I could do it, but I would not be pleased about it. Yeah. Let's put it that way. Like, I okay. wouldn't want to do it. Like, mm-hmm. that's just one of those things. It's If you don't have to do it, like, I get it. Like, some of them, they have to, like, work. So yeah. I, I understand that. But it's – that just sucks because you're, like, all weekend long, you know, you had a good time, and now you got to drive home, and it's kind of – I don't want to say boring, but kind of boring drive. Yeah, that's not the best. Plus, like, all the good, all the juicy stuffs already happened, so yeah. like all the thrills gone now, and it's kind of like eh. the the route we went back uh, no, last year was know. good though. Yeah, well, I mean we well, we diverted and we went to like that one spot in eight. Like they're not going to be doing that because they're going to be, you know, oh, trying interstate. to get home. Yeah, I I would be doing the same thing too. I'd be trying yeah. to get home if you're leaving True. after the show at the end of the day and you got a four hour drive. Yeah, three hours. Yeah, if you're. Well, I mean, it. If, if they're lucky, yeah. depending on traffic, traffic. I'm sure oh, it, yeah, I'm sure it'll probably be a four-hour drive, yeah. whether they want it to be or not. So, sell some cars trickling in. I'm hearing them, yeah. I think there's still a lot of hardware to come in because think about, I like, so all too. of the, Where's like, Carrera GTs yeah, and all, all that, of those yeah. cars. Unless they brought brought them in already, but, 
You know what? Those cars might have already been staged. Think they've been pre-staged. Maybe. I don't know. I thought I remembered them parking last year. Yeah, I kind of remember them like coming through, the, like flying, driving through. Wasn't the, you didn't see the flying lizard. Yeah, car they was all there? came in yeah, that yeah. morning, but like they wouldn't be coming in this late. I feel it. Well, we've been here early too. I, yeah, but it's nine, almost nine forty now. Yeah. Like I don't think they they would come in that late. Nah, maybe not. I bet they're already over there. We have, so full disclaimer: we haven't walked anywhere. We started broadcasting right away for you guys. Yeah, we, so we walked to here. We actually had to take a break to check in. Yeah. So this is it's amazing content for the guys watching front facing camera. <laughs> hey, deal with it. It's the Macy's Day Parade. Sometimes it, the turkey float takes a while to get there. You it's know. Coming. We have no commercials to cut to. Exactly. But if we did, we'd have sponsors. And if we, if you want a sponsor. Speaking of sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a sponsor. Oh, that sounds like Danny. Am I right? Wow, he's up really early. It's 940 and he's awake. He doesn't live too far from here, does he? No. He doesn't go to bed till like 4. I mean, same with us, but we were yeah. up early. We know how to suck it up, though. Last year, he missed like half the show, man. Oh, yeah, that's he right. He was late, bro. He was really late. He showed up at like 1 p.m. <laughs> it was like, oh, bro. I, was, I woke up in a gutter last night. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You know, Miami, bro. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's what, what is that in like Hangover 2? Bangkok's got him now. <laughs> Miami's got him now. <laughs> it's over. Miami's got him now. Ooh. So how do you feel about GT3 RS fenders on a cab turbo S? Well, he even went front. That's what said fenders. No, well, he went fenders and front uh, from, from bumper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kind of go to a good. Oh, it's I mean, interesting it look, combo. It doesn't, it doesn't look bad. I mean, I, no. felt like, I felt like I didn't get to get a speedster, yeah. and now I'm trying to make it a speedster. I think that's more of kind of like I have money to spend. Oh, and okay. I'm buying a Turbo S convertible, but I want like <laughs> RS. I want RS bits. You know what I'd really like if they had an RS convertible. Yeah. That's what. And then that's the guy. Yeah. He built it up. Good for him. Pretty much. Hey, good for him. He went after it. You know. It like DCs. It does look. I've better. seen a lot worse today. I'll tell you that much. That's true. Whatever that donkey Targa <laughs> with like a the- plaster plaster fenders on yeah. it. That thing was atrocious. We can stop that now. I mean, I really, really haven't S- hate like save I save the world or not. That that you was. Know, I'm a, I'm more kind of like the you know John Lennon thing. The world needs more love, but not that kind of love. Like that was. <laughs> they're not doing anybody any favors with that car. No. Oh, good. More more revving. That's just a flat six. I don't know what's going on over there. There's a lot of cars still to come in here, guys. So <laughs> yeah, just because there's not kind of cars on video right now. I, I mean, what, what? There's like three people who watch our videos. So that's I mean, true. We may get four. Many, yeah. I think we're getting another another listener. And speaking of which, we do YouTube. If you're a listener, yeah, uh, you can be a watcher. We're having a hell of a time trying to convert you stubborn assholes over there um, to the YouTube area. So why don't you guys go over, do us a super solid, oh, here, and here actually here comes, the, here comes Mr. Miami himself. Oh uh, yeah. Mr. 2 a.m. He he wouldn't do a burnout if we asked him. Oh, he, he would get after I it. Think, I don't think we should do that. No, I don't want. I don't want Al to be yelling no. at us. I get it. Yo! <laughs> I love it. This car sounds so good, though. Yep. <laughs> You rev it, bro. Getting after it. I love it. All the hardware hanging out. Sounds so good. Love that guy. It's like yeah, my brother good. from another mother. That's Can you imagine clean. Danny and Mike on the city together? Oh, God. We would tear this place apart. You're ridiculous. We were in Amelia. Remember that one yeah. night? We we shut that place down in that sleepy place. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't even know it was shutting, bro. Yeah. They hadn't seen us before. That was a problem. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Driving up again over there, huh? Yep. Wow. Well, another car sold. Great. Cool, man. 
<laughs> cool story, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never heard of flat six before. Yeah. Race motor, bro. Yeah. Super cool. It was here real race motor. You can hear DC's car. Yeah. I wonder what's going to come out of the transporter. These guys are all sloppy, too. Get your ass in the gym, bro. Sorry? Yeah, you too. I know. I know. This car sounds good. I always oh, love yeah. this car, man. It sounds like that Carrera T. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Proper. Yeah. That's a t that's how a turbo car should sound like that. Just continuously sounding like it's gonna Let's suck, everything suck into you it. into yeah. it if you get too close. Like straight turbine whistle. There's Jaime. Look at him bringing that yeah. sweet. Oh, he's just walking. Yeah. <laughs> sweet, I love him, bro. Yeah, yeah. The man of the hour, Mr. Jaime. A lot more cars coming in. Yeah, wrapped around the block. As expected. Per usual. Do you think uh, more cars this year or the same amount? Do they, do they say? I, I, I think it's going to be actually. roughly the same amount. Um, that's what Al was anticipating, roughly. Like, you know, six six and some change, maybe close to 700, wow. something, something to that effect. I mean, that's I don't know exactly that amount, but yeah. it's something like that. So... That's why I don't feel like I've seen 600 cars come through. No, absolutely not. Not even close. I don't even know if we have enough time to run all this stuff, though. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Seven too. hours of YouTube car entry. I don't know if I can sit here for seven hours. No. So, what is it right now? It's 9.45 our time. I think yeah. we've almost been 9 going, 44. what, we don't nine, like almost <laughs> like two hours of yeah. this, roughly. Um probably so let's let's just recap let's close this and then you know obviously we have some probably some guests coming yeah. on today so maybe we could do some mingling so you know we want to thank the drt crew yeah. um for their hospitality Alan, Sneel, and everybody yeah Jordy. jaime um the dream team that makes this event happen we want to thank everybody that came up to us said hi um we appreciate them thank you guys all for listening um Remember, hey, if you missed out this year, DRT happens every year, so make sure you come next year. And yep. um, that would be even better. You know, all the people that sponsored this event, you know, they there's a lot of sponsors out there, so help them because they help this event as well. Um, make sure you check out uh, Sunil and Al's new uh, website, yeah, Swek. Swek. What's up, brother? Yeah, you can. It's it's all good though. Yeah. Yeah, we're giving you guys praises. Talking right now. You guys, got a lot of cars still coming in. Getting close? We're close. Okay, cool. Because we were we were just about to close anyway, so that's good. So, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Right, Seen a little bit. Say hi, man. Um, that was Jaime, uh, one of one of the helpers, the big the big parts of pillars of this show. Yeah. Um, yeah. We want to thank them so much. And I was going to, where I was going to say is like, make sure that you check out Zweck. That's a big new thing that's coming, which I said earlier, it's a big facility yep. in Miami. They're going to be consignment cars. They're going to be Storage. working on cars. They're going to be storing cars. Um, so Doing a lot to all. come. Yeah, a lot to come. And that's the the founders of this are, out, you know, starting that so business. You know so, you know, it's going to be baller. You know, it's going to be done right. Um, I want to thank the collection uh, for hosting as as they did uh, always coming through and setting the bar for all these other cars and coffee wannabe events to and show you guys what <laughs> yeah. it needs to be like um Crazy. and always stepping up and always having the primo stuff uh we appreciate them uh we appreciate everybody that like, again like i said that has come up and hung out and has spent time with us mm -hmm. want to give a shout out to the zufin house guys oh yeah um big shout out again to eddie from rmc for being super clutch for me um with the tires at yeah, the track tires it up. um and uh we'll see you guys on the next one yep, see you. thank you so much for listening to this episode of p car talk connect with us on instagram at p car talk 
or online at peakarttalk.com.